So, like, I'm recording it now, but they can hear us. This will be on there. Mm -hmm. So, oh, Jesus Christ. Oh, my God. I legit thought we were going to wait 10 minutes until, like, the start of the show right now. Yeah. I was like, all right, well, I guess we'll... Oh, shit! Well, 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 well. Fucking powerful. Oh, yeah. Are we just starting? I thought we were going to wait till the end. 7 o'clock hour? 9 o'clock nope. hour? We're live. This is pre-recorded. We don't got to wait for nobody. This is the Wanger it, Show. Episode is it staticky for you. Yeah, do you guys hear that? Did no, you? I... It's clean for me. Mm. Yeah, it sounds like... Nah, 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 Batman. Pretty Welcome sure back, every, yeah. everybody, to another episode... Of the Wanger Show. Another one, Christian. Another one for the new year. This is 301. We thought, let's cap it off. Let's let's stop. Well, it's good at 300. Nah, we're going to ruin it by stopping at like 317 or something like that. So we're at 301 on our way you there. Said it. 317. 301. No, he said it. We're going to stop at 317. Yeah, that's oh, probably where we're God, at. God. I was distracted yeah. by the, again, the stamp. The static, I'm it, telling it, it you, came it's back. there. It's it came back. It came there back. and I heard it. Even without music, it was like, yeah. Can you hear it now? Am I, how do I sound? Do I sound okay? You sound fine. How do sound we better sound? now. Okay. I think it was an issue with playing the song and you talking at the same time. Oh, I don't know. We'll but find out. Uh, yeah. we'll I find think out. it's good now. I think it's good now. Should I have well, original sound for musicians on or off? They sure. updated that. Zoom updated yeah. that, huh? Okay. It used right. to just say like original sound. Now before. it says now it's for musicians. Noise suppression is disabled. Yeah. What if I do that? Original sound. Are we saying all three of us should hit this at the same time? It's exciting. I already um, did it. You didn't do it. I did. I, it's it's on now. Oh, now you sound a little muffled. Nah, I don't like it. Okay. Yeah. I mean, get it out, get it out, get they're gonna. Yeah, it, they, yeah, they, everyone leave. The way How do I, I sound. The, you sound great. Oh yeah. <laughs> You heard that right. Hey, right. That, that's yeah. good. Okay. Welcome back, everybody, to the Wanger right. Show 2023 301. We're back. We said we're taking a break. We took a break. Brian said he's leaving the show. He's still on the show, but he's yeah. going to be. No I don't know. There's no show without me. What the hell? Yeah. Mm -hmm. it's, it's middle of mid January, end of January. I thought I was going to take December off. No. <laughs> yeah, we took a, <laughs> took a good took took a, a good six weeks, buddy. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> took a very nice long break. Um, it's very strange to not. You know, have a sore throat every week, but you know, hey, you live and you live and you learn. You, you, you get and you sick learn. after every show. Yeah, oh yeah, Why I do get a sore throat. I get We're incredibly talking? sick after every week. I just At like what like tone of like how do you speak to where it hurts that much? Like, oh, you should, that doesn't you should sound see, right. You should see Amber. She's like, hey, just just tone it down. Yeah, maybe tone just talk out. like at a normal pitch. I don't know. Yeah, I don't talk, know. Or talk less. You know. Yeah, that's yeah. true. Yeah, I do talk a lot. That's a problem. Mm -hmm. We should talk about that. We'll talk about that on today's show. But we're back. This is it. This is the show. This is the podcast. Three friends come together. Have a good time. Cody, mm. I got to ask yep. you for old time's sake, pal. <clears throat> What's the 301st Pokemon? It's Del Caddy. Del, Del Caddy. Del Caddy? It looks like a little, uh, a, fan a fancy little cat. The fancy pink one? kitty we're looking at here. What's that? The pink one? It's a little purple one. It's yellow, and then it's got like a purple coat over it. It's got like a uh, little fancy little coat. Oh. Like a little, like, a little like, fur coat type thing. It's okay. fancy. Okay. Del Caddy. Come on now. Okay. All right. All right. Then. There it is. Yeah. Okay. Uh, how are we doing, boys? It's been a minute. Uh, how's everyone feeling? How was your new year? How was your holiday? How was what uh... did we miss? What do we talk about with each other oh, here, yeah. guys? What what, what have we what wanna, have we done? Wanna, what have wanna, we done in the time? Our last episode was 300. 300. It was in December. When did that record? Oh, Jesus. Was that in December? I don't know, to be honest with you. Was I that think in it was November. December. I believe so. First week of December. I want to say it's very early December when we did. Very early? Um, Do we take? Are we that lazy? Most people take I, like yeah, like two weeks on YouTube, and <laughs> we took. Most like people a, stop doing podcasts altogether. Okay, the fact that we're back is a huge accomplishment, true. and I think we should be praised for it. Okay, let's see. Yeah, here. guys, if that's what you need, sure. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> I don't need any praise for yeah, give me the some sort of praise in life, going. guys. I need this. All right, let's okay, see here, okay, episode so three hundred live. We're all gonna check this. December fifth. Dreamed a month ago. Yeah. Well, December 5th is when we did it. Wow, that was okay. a... It's been over a month wow. and a half. Do people remember I still us? applaud us, guys. Okay. Right. Cody, do we still get the uh, applaud? I think we do. Applause. I think we do. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, guys. Thank you. A little too loud. Sorry about yeah, yeah. that. I can't really mix it from here. Yeah, yeah even Amber was like, tone it down. Tone yeah, it tone it down, down tone Cody. Down. Your throat's going to hurt. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Anything major happen with you guys? 
with us. Any, any with life me. updates? Any mm. crazy things happen? Not I know much. where I got one. You you oh. got one. I had a big thing happen. Whoa! It, it bigger yes. than that. I had a health scare oh, a few Jesus weeks Christ. ago. This was a big one. Cody. Okay. Guys. Strap we, in. Strap on. Strap on. <laughs> I nice. had. Back to the Future 2. No, it's not. <laughs> <laughs> it's not Back to the Future 2? Well, it's when you mispronounce. Well, you I know it that, but <laughs> okay. it's originally from Back to the Future 2. That's... Yeah, but you said strap <laughs> on. <laughs> he says hook on. <laughs> oh, okay. Strap on works so much better. Yeah. I think it would have been fun. I think Robert Zemeckis really fucked up. Should have been yeah. strap on. Strap on. <laughs> anyway, sense. back to my very serious okay, health yeah, scare. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Guys. Strap on. I had a either, it's either a pimple oh. or a bug bite or maybe a combination of both. On your penis. On my butt. Okay. Uh, this okay. happened weeks ago, so I'm trying to remember all the details. Mm-hmm. But it was one of those things, man, where it's like it just stays there, and it was hurting me when I sat down. It got to a point like I Ooh. couldn't sit down without my ass hurting, man. It, it, it was right stuck. on the cheek, huh? Yeah, right on my cute little butt cheek. So mm-hmm. I went there. I was like, left you know what? or right? Let oh, me it was left. This. Thank you okay. for asking. It was my oh. left butt cheek, okay. pretty close to the to the uh, little the, the, the crack there too. To the like cra- it was oh, borderline oh, crack, the inner. but it was oh, it was on it was on the cheek. Okay, and. One night, okay. I was just like, you know what? This fucker's going to pop. So I go to the bathroom, and I go to pop this thing, all right? I say I, I maybe scratch the surface of it, get a little bit of pus out there, all right? Ugh. I'm like, all right, fine. But I don't, I don't feel like I really got it. So I was like, you know what? Fuck it. I go in there, and I go in there, okay? And I'm, you know, like when Can you demonstrate? Can you, what's your position look like when you're yeah, doing so this? Yeah, so I'm looking like yeah, this. Yeah. Again, it's my cute little ass right here, okay? And yeah. I'm like, I'm getting Into ready. Uh, yeah, I'm, I'm looking at the mirrors. I'm you're, doing this. Of course, okay. who wouldn't, right? And you're one-handing so, it? No, I was doing two, but for the sake of this, I'm holding the microphone. So I'm oh, two it, hands it. here. All right. All right, we're pretending that's and your I'm penis. Like, I'm like, fuck it. I'm to hold the mic for you. So, you so I'm basically it. using, my, <laughs> so I'm basically using my my thumb as like a shovel, and I'm like getting in there. To yeah, like get yeah. it out. Mm. And you know, in movies, like when, get in there. like let's say someone gets shot, and you remove the bullet, mm-hmm. and then nothing happens. Mm-hmm. Sure. And then randomly, it oh. starts like dripping blood like crazy. Yeah. That happened to my ass. Oh so yeah, trickle so trickle down your leg a little. It was, was po- more blood came out of that, I think, any wound that I've ever had in life. Whoa. And I've been hit in the head with a golf ball where blood dripped oh, yeah. down my face, mm-hmm. if you recall. Wow. Yeah, 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 of course. Iconic. It was wild. I couldn't get it to stop. Mm-hmm. Initially, like, I was like, oh, crap, what do I have? So I grabbed, like, toilet paper to try to get my butt to stop bleeding. It wasn't you working. Run yeah. to the shower? You didn't I ran. That? I should have done that. I didn't think about that. But I had <laughs> yeah. said ran outside and then got, like, paper towels and got that roll and pretty much Wait, went through the you, entire you, thing hold on. Hold on. to try to get my ass to stop bleeding. You have paper towels outside? Huh? No, outside the bathroom. No, like, I had oh, to run okay. outside to the kitchen. <laughs> I thought you, you, like, ran to the ran outside Wait. of the playground to get some paper towels to yeah. wipe your ass. When yeah. you were when you ran outside of the kitchen, were you, were you bare ass? No, I pulled up my pants to make sure oh. it didn't drip on the floor because... As I learned later when I got back, there was blood on literally on the floor of the bathroom. Oh, like, wow. So I literally had to clean this shit up. And the whole time I was thinking, like, I don't want to die in this moment, but how funny would it be if that's how I die? By, like, a pimple on your popping ass. a butt pimple and then yeah, bleeding yeah. out of my ass. A like, pimple. That's a hell of a way to go. Who's got that story, right? I don't know. I mean, I, I've had my fair share of pimples that won't stop bleeding, but, you yeah. know. Can't stop no butt stop. pimple, though? No yeah, butt. No. Mm-mm. Wait, so, so you pulled your pants up. Didn't a bunch Thanks of for the blood... follow-up question. Bringing it back to this, huh? Okay. Didn't a bunch of blood just like leak into your underwear and pants? I was able to at that point. I was able to or get you put it. pressure on it. You got to put pressure. It got on to it. the point like where it wasn't like oozing out continuously. It got to the point where like a band aid wasn't gonna help. You know okay. what I mean? Like it would have been fine for like five seconds and then it would have bled again. Mm-hmm. You know what okay. I mean? Mm-hmm. So like I had a I had a window you, where you go had a out window where okay kept going. Yeah. You, pull, you pulled your pants up. So when you yeah. pulled your pants back down. Was there blood on your boxers? It was like a, no, it wasn't on, I'm a breeze boy. Thank you so much for asking. Um, It wasn't like blood on there. It was just like a nice little like blood bubble on my butt still, you know? So I had a bubble on my cute little bubble Bubble, butt. What's going on there? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Uh, Any more follow-ups? I can keep going here. Yeah. Uh, Let's see. So you, you grab the paper towels, you use the remainder of the paper towels. Yeah. I used pretty much the whole road to try to get my And then then it stopped bleeding? Yeah, eventually it just stopped. I I did the uh, the wet the paper towel method, to try to get okay. it wet, you know, and kind of put it on there. You guys try that? Uh, sure. With, like no. wounds, like if you get a wet cloth, it kind of helps. You no, know? just me. I just like you apply put, pressure and then it stops. Yeah, put like yeah. a tourniquet on your butt, just yeah. like the butt cheek. Eventually, what <laughs> I did, guys, when when it stopped like pouring out of my butt, my cute little butt, I went and like kind of like I didn't tape it to my ass, but I put like a, a toilet paper wad. 
Okay. And I kind of kept that in in my underwear, Shug and I kind of just I sat down basically. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So okay. I kept that pressure on that way. Was and anybody home? Actually, um, they were both Marissa and Graham both sleeping. I was by myself. I was, I was on my in own. The middle here. of the night. Yeah, it was a nighttime thing. Yeah. Oh. oh. Okay. Yeah. It was the middle of the night, and you're like, "This is the time I got. <laughs> this is the time to do it. I gotta, I gotta do this. I got it. Had to been because I was watching either I was watching a movie or playing a game or something. Like, and I couldn't adjust on the couch. Like, when your mm-hmm. butt hurts when sitting on the couch, you know you got a problem. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. I was like, "Fuck it, I'm done with this shit." You're so southpaw too, so that left cheek's important. It is. It yeah. is very important. Mm-hmm. Thank you. It's my glute. Go yeah. look out for that. Yeah. So did you go to the doctor to check out what yeah. it was? Nah, I like living in mystery. It's you, you you literally could have had like a mole, and then you just. Like ripped it. No, off. it wasn't a mole. Pus um, came out. Yeah, yeah. Pus came out initially. Okay. okay. Um. So it could be like a spider bite. Mm. Where you yeah, that's what a... I'm saying. Maybe it was a, a combination of that. Maybe a spider bit a pimple. And yeah, you got spiders in your apartment. Who doesn't have spiders in the apartment, guys? You guys have not, spiders? No. Uh. Uh-uh. Not yeah. me. Oh, okay. oh. I spray that shit. Yeah. I gun them I down with everywhere. my Second Amendment <laughs> right. Um, Ryan's pissing on spiders, Christian shooting them in the face. Yeah, yeah. goddamn. Right. I always pass by. There's a place like Gun World, like in Bur- Bur- It's either Burbank or North Hollywood, and it's always like the <laughs> these like these giant wood doors that are closed. Uh-huh. And I'm just like, would people just like yell at me if I like walked in there? Like, I just feel like they would just be so mean. I don't know. We should go in there. There's just there's one. Up. There's like a couple around here. There's just a gun place, and then there's one in. Burbank, the Burbank area off Magnolia. Oh yeah, next to the that, sandwich spot. Uh, I, I'm sure. I think so. Yeah, it, it just, it's like giant windows. Like they want you to come and they want you to see like it's like rifles and shit. Like, yeah, I was about to say they wouldn't want like an unwelcoming atmosphere. They'd want yeah, you yeah. to come in and check it out. So mm, I'm like, do they out. have like colorful signs? Do they have like fun music playing? Like what do they got? What do they? What music are they playing at the gun store? Ted, I don't know. I don't know. Yeah. yeah. Ted Cruz is that what you said? Kid Rock. Oh no, yeah. Ted Ted Nugent. Oh yeah yeah yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah, George Santos. What is his name? I don't know. The new guy, George Santos, uh, the... the one that's like a liar. And yeah, like lies about everything. <laughs> we missed that. We missed all. Oh, we missed some good politics stuff. We should have live streamed, uh, uh, getting the speaker in there. That would have been fun. I tried would've... to follow along. I didn't know what the hell was going on. Yeah, yeah. Eventually, uh, I stopped caring because I knew where it was going. Like I knew eventually he was gonna get in there. But I'm, yeah, yeah. It's, it, it was it was entertaining for a while. So but... it was never gonna be a Democrat. No. It was always going to I don't know. I, never, I don't know exactly how the process works. Yeah. I just figured I I don't have I to always I I look at that situation and like I look at it, it's like the alien versus predator poster cuz the, the the tagline is no matter who wins we lose. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> nice, nice. Should um, tweet that. I know, right? I don't tweet anymore. I don't know. <laughs> I don't tweet anymore. Are you guys off Twitter now? I've been off. Like I I occasionally will retweet a thing here and there and then So it's not off you lied. Yeah, I know. You lied. I'm just like Santos. Yeah, I, I'm off. willing to. Yeah, I'm off yes. Twitter. I'm uh, I'm off uh, I'm off cocaine, but you know sometimes I'll just like, I'll do a bump uh, here and there. I'll yeah, bump, yeah. <laughs> I'm not hooked on it or anything. Yeah, I'll just yeah. like with more, when I'm with my yeah. friends, you know, I'll, I'll read cocaine. I, I checked it recently, and it's just like even worse because like there's like a for you page now, and there's like then there's like a following, and I just checked in with my dealer to see what's up. You yeah, know? Like, I'm, but I'm off cocaine. You know, I'm totally off. Cocaine. <laughs> I just keep in touch with my friends, you know. Yeah, that yeah. who who totally who do it. To sell cocaine. Oh, all of them. Yeah, yeah. 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 I <laughs> muted a single one of them, and I muted yeah. most of the people I follow. So it's just all I'm seeing is just reports from Ukraine. That's it. That's why all did, I see. Why now. did you follow them then? If you're just gonna mute. Oh, I just got like burned out from them over time. It's like I don't really need to see their tweet. I okay, get it. Fair enough. Yeah. So why don't you delete Twitter? Can't do it. No, I gotta Can't stay important. <laughs> I'm just kidding. I don't know. I don't know. I gotta stay important. I still have mine, but I think I have. I'm willing to guess. I have less ten tweets or less from 2022. Let me see. Mm. Let's go to my Twitter. That's last year. You're saying all the, of all of real last Cody year Hall. you only had uh, ten tweets all of last year. That's I think so. I'm gonna guess less than a tweet a month if you do the uh, calculation. Broccoli. All right, one, two, three. Oh no, November was a big month. I had two that day or okay. that month. Election oh, month. Boy. Yeah. One, two. No, not last year. I guess that was the year before. Retweets don't count. Let's see. Oh, is this a, is this gonna be a first time first appearance for Oliver? No, oh. he he uh, he appeared earlier. He appeared on. <gasps> Look uh, at that big boy. Dang, he's big. Yeah, get that mic. Get that mic, buddy. boy. Buddy. Oh my goodness. He can't oh, hear. I know he can't. He doesn't, <laughs> he doesn't know what. Hold the on. Fuck let me play the dog on. whistle. Let me play the dog whistle. Maybe I'll hear it. Hold on. No, I'm just kidding. I don't have it. Damn it! I, I I've hit ten. Once I got to March, Uh-oh. I believe I hit ten. From December to March, I hit ten. So I think I went over. 
December but. to March. I started from December and went down. And once I got oh, to March, I, I went backwards. Back. So, oh, yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah. Down, he just passes out right there. Oh, my goodness. Well, you went to the park today. Oh, it was like he's a, tired. It was like an unofficial like dog park meeting. Like, we showed up. <laughs> what? <laughs> like, like, meeting of dogs. What? What do you want? And then this one couple was here. And they're like, oh, yeah, we, we all come here around this time. And then, like, the... More dogs showed up and more dogs showed up and everyone just had their fucking dogs off leashes. I gotta you know, ask you guys, you dog people, do you, do you hold talk? On, to hold on, other... hold, hold. Nah, yeah, you know what I did there. Hold huh? the fucking yeah. phone, yeah. you you uh -huh. racist piece of shit. Oh, oh what do you really, mean? really? What do you, you guys mean? Can talk all this shit in the world on cats, but Wait. the second I say dog people, what I, I don't, I don't be like you cat people. Nah, you, you've implied it. You've implied it with your words. All I said time. is just cats are the worst. I'm not like now nah. that, that tone of you dog people like nah, basically like the spit same on me. All right, go ahead. I forget what I was going to say. <laughs> oh, do you guys actually talk to the other the dog peeps? Yeah, it's yeah. A very you just, social, or do you just stand in a thing. circle and watch the dogs communicate with each other? Yeah, you talk to very say, uh, how old is that one? Mm -hmm. How uh, what breed? <laughs> you literally it, the conversation is literally about the dogs. All the yeah, neighbors, bad, bad all yeah, the neighbors yeah. that I've ever met in my apartment complex it's just like they're just like wow he's getting bigger i was like yeah you know he just got a haircut and they're like oh you know any of their names yeah yeah follow we up Maria you, today no 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 the people not the dogs yeah, yeah, yeah i know their names okay all right make sure yeah i had a i mean i had a, i don't forget i don't remember things right so okay. i had to write all their names down just to make sure but sure. um it wasn't until we got draco that i finally actually met and talked to people in our apartment complex so okay. that's right my son Cody, you didn't know this that uh, Oliver and Draco met for the first time. They did. Oh, how'd that go? They, yeah. They rip each other's faces Oliver off. Oliver fucking fucked him. I bet it. Who won the fight? <laughs> Oliver did. You want to know what Oliver's Oliver... got? The size advantage look at, look is, is Draco. Sc... Oh yeah. No, Draco's, Draco's paws, man. Draco's scrappy. Oh. Draco's scrappy. You want to know what Oliver? Is he though? You want to know what yeah. Oliver did to my son? Brian, do you mm -hmm. want to tell he the audience? The shit out of it. And Draco was like, yeah. <laughs> oh, man, they hit it off real quick then. Yeah. Oh, man. Draco just, anytime he gets like into a scuffle with the dog and it's just like playful stuff, he just goes to his back. Like he just immediately. Like, oh, you got, he, you just, got me. he just takes it. Oh, me. no. <laughs> oh, man. Free drinks, whoever catches me. <laughs> what am I going to do? <laughs> That's what Draco exactly was. He just like fell down oh and kept. Oh my god, you totally got it. me. I yeah. guess I'll just roll over like this. <laughs> yeah. Oh no. Oh, I fell over. <laughs> oh. No. Um, so well, yeah, that was, guys are, that was fun. They're lovers now. Okay. Yeah, That's yeah. Good. There was never actually, it was uh, <laughs> dogs never like know where to hump. So like it was just like onto the side. It was, oh, look at that boy. That was the look he was giving Draco right there. He's like, hey, yeah. I'm over here. <laughs> and he was Rest like smoking history. a cigarette afterwards, too. It was <laughs> <Yeah>. weird. <laughs> Both of them. Were... Yeah, it's just like, ugh. <laughs> oh, look at that dog chilling. <laughs> oh, man. Balls. We got to get rid of his balls. Oh, Careful with your uh, your tag there. It's all right. Can oh, okay. Go? All right. Oh, shit. I forgot. <laughs> <laughs> Just... <laughs> I oh. thought you meant this tag. No, I'll check the tape. I'll check the tape. I'll make sure. The balls are okay, but look yeah. out for that tag, okay? <laughs> yeah. That's what's most important. Oh, yeah. That's our information. <laughs> <laughs> I don't want to write it down. <laughs> anyway. Yeah. So, yeah, that happened. But aside from that, they, they were running around a lot. And uh, I think aside from the humping, and even the humping I think is cool, uh, they did a, they did fine. <laughs> aside from the humping, you know, it's all good. Yeah. You know? They didn't when hate your dogs were they didn't hate when your other. dogs were boning, were you guys just like, what kind of dog is it? You just having those same conversations that you yeah, have at the yeah, dog yeah. park? Yeah, oh, yeah. What kind of breed? Yeah. What breed? How big yeah. is he going to get? Oh, he does right. that. He'll shake him off. Yeah. Yeah. Uh -huh. <laughs> Jesus. Okay. That's that's why. Yeah, that's how we started off the new year. Did okay. that for New Year's. The dogs met. They ran around. Uh, they Oliver they... took over Draco's bed. It was, a, it was adorable. Oh, okay. you brought Draco's bed in here. Yeah, I think right? so. Okay. That's when it, it, was, it was raining like crazy. It's been raining like crazy. Um, so yeah, I, that, I, I that miss happened. it now. I miss it. It's oh, over. Yeah, I miss the it. rain. Yeah, yeah. Mm. You don't no. miss the rain. I don't think no? I did too much. Mm. I don't know. I don't, I, no meaningful memories with the rain to really no? be that. Yeah, you don't get. It, but I'm you don't get Grant like a raincoat, put some boots on him, and he just splashes in the puddles. No, he does love jumping in the puddles though. Yeah, yeah, you don't but, miss um, it. I just want to. I want to get home at that point. It's like Grant, you're getting soaked. Let's yeah. fucking go. Mm. You know. Oh. But I did have to go. Just like getting them to and from school, you know. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah that could that be a pain. Yeah, oh, yeah, I did. I did go into the office one of the days that it was raining and it was just like insane. Like when you're driving and like the side of the road gets, it's just a giant lake now, and just whoosh, 
brush and it brushes on you. You're like, oh, this is fun and dangerous. Our ceiling was leaking and we live on the bottom floor, which oh, I thought was interesting. That is interesting. Yeah. Yeah. I think I think the people thanks, buddy. The, I think that the uh, the people above us had their window open the whole oh. night, and I think we think the water just kind of came through. That's oh, our guess. But. Okay, Cody. You, so you're saying other uh, parents of actual children you don't communicate with, you don't talk to. Oh you no! Don't every day, every with? day at pick up and drop off, we just kind of stand there and wait for the kids to come out, hmm. and then we kind of just move on with our lives after that. Yeah, All the dads. Really awkward. I, I feel like I should you talk say to say hello? Yeah. Like oh, I, we say hi, and then we're just like... Name one father's name. Oh, I can't do that. Can't like, do that. like for like privacy you, reasons? You literally, you just literally... You no, know, I literally can. I don't know their names. <laughs> um, Is there like a gaggle I know some of... of the, the, I know their kids' names, because Grant will tell us, but okay. I don't know the parents' names. No. Is there a gaggle of fathers that just like group up and be like, what's up, bro? You're getting your kid? Yeah, I'm getting my kid, too. How about that game think... last night, brother? No, nothing like is that, that. Is just, that the vibe uh, of San Dimas? No, not really. We no. don't just talk, sit around going, "How's the game, brother?" Yeah, but, um, <laughs> yeah, no, it's it's a it's a fair mix of uh, of, of men and women. We just kind of stand there silently, wait for the kids to come out. Okay, a bunch like, of Cody. See you tomorrow, there. and that's yeah. it. That's the Do whole conversation. Other parents talk to other parents. No, that's why so I'm glad no, it's not talk. just me. It's not just a, a Cody being socially awkward thing. It's all of us. I think. I think it feels like. There's like a dam waiting to break in, in, in conversation form. You know what I mean? Like we're all just kind of awkwardly sitting there like we know we have stuff to talk about, but we're not yeah. doing it yet. And once we do, I think we're going to become great pounds. Oh, yeah. I, I, I think I, you know it'll be the uh, the uh, the starter of that conversation is like, God, this PTA. I swear to God. Yeah. <laughs> Can you guys believe this? Yeah. What do you think of the principal? What an asshole. You know? I don't know if the superintendent. Just, huh? just saying, just yeah. saying, like find something like God, they gotta, they really gotta chain these fences. I don't, I don't know, yeah. like something about the school that you guys can complain about too, with each other. Cody, you're when telling he, me a dad has never gone up to you, and he's like, you check out Yellowstone this past week. <laughs> or fucking Kevin Costner no. is on another level. No than Yellowstone, so, right? Now. <laughs> surprisingly, a couple of the the parents are on the younger side, so I don't know if they're watching Yellowstone. Okay. Um, oh, I thought like of, once you have, once you have a child, you just immediately you love just be, Yellowstone. You hit Yellowstone. Yeah, yeah. Uh, <laughs> I, have, I have heard this. I have heard this. But, uh, yeah. Enjoying everything else, enjoy Bo Burnham, and then you have a kid. You have from Bo Burnham to Yellowstone. To Yellowstone. Yeah. That Cole, Cole Hauser, baby. That Cole Hauser. Yeah. Oh. And then 1883. Yeah. <laughs> oh yeah. The Jeremy Renner one. That's the Harrison Ford joke. Oh, too. Oh, it, no, Harrison Ford's 1923. Don't get oh, that yeah. one mixed Whoa. up. Whoa. That's yeah. the other spinoff. There's 1883, there's 1923, then there's Yellowstone. And this is all yeah. Taylor Sheridan? Uh, yeah. Yeah, I think he also has the mayor of Kingstown. And that, oh, that's and the Jeremy Renner one. That's the Jeremy Renner one, yeah. and he's got the Stallone one, which is Tulsa King. That's oh, all Sheridan? God. I want to say Sheridan does all of those. Look I don't think they're all connected to Yellowstone, but I believe he does them all. Let Whoa. me double check that. Brian this Murphy better all watch out. Town, all little, like Tulsa, Oklahoma. Exclusively on Paramount Plus. No, the only place. No, 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 no. no. Mary no? East, that no, uh, Kingstown. I know. I know Yellowstone's on like broadcast. Oh, maybe I'm thinking of Mary. television. But Yellowstone has rights with Peacock. Oh, it is on Peacock. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because yeah, I because right. Laura's dad loves Yellowstone, and he was like, "Hey, can you help me set up Paramount Plus? <laughs> I want to check it out." So I help. I I set them all up. I get them I, a year paid for and all that stuff. Yellowstone's streaming rights are with Peacock. Got it. Oh, so only the spinoffs are on Paramount, right? Only yeah. the 1883 and 1923. That's interesting. Like an FAQ portion of the, the Paramount Plus website. That's awesome. It says, like, where's my Yellowstone? And oh, I, no. Because like, they know that's what people are going for. That's yes. all, yeah. Whoa. It was such an incredible yeah. moment of, like, oh my God. That's people amazing. People are signing up for Paramount and not getting Yellowstone. Yeah. <laughs> that's wild, man. And that show's already got, like, on its like fourth or fifth <clears throat> season, the fifth one yeah, is I think the so. newest one. Yeah, Jesus Christ. and it started like last year. That's crazy. Yeah. It started in 2018. <laughs> I feel oh, like yeah. it, it just started last. Year. Yeah, like <laughs> I remember pumped. cutting the first junket for the junkets for the first season back in Collider. Collider? So it wasn't really? that long ago. Wow. wow. Yeah, it was. Um, well, which I guess was three or four years ago. But yeah, mm -hmm. Jesus. No, Technically, it, it's on Paramount Network, which is different yes. than Paramount Plus. Which is where the confusion comes in. Yes. Like great. you have to pay your cable provider for Paramount Network. It's like <laughs> yeah. a whole thing. Yes. Oh, my God. I lost my mind. Paramount Network used to be Spike TV, which, is, if you recall, oh, guys, was the really? first network for men. Yeah. Remember, yeah. Mm -hmm. remember oh, that, yeah. those commercials? They had like WWE and like they would, whatever uh, show Jimmy. K no, the man show. The man show. Right? That was not yeah. on there. Yeah. Or the Joe yeah. Schmo show. Or one of those two. Joe Schmo show was yeah. on that as well. Uh, yeah, they would they would have TV. they would play 
they would do like a marathon of Star Wars for like yeah like Fourth of July weekend or some shit. Yeah, they love yeah. doing that. Yeah. yeah, they were doing that, and then ABC Family was doing the Harry Potter movies. Those oh, are yeah. Always, if there was ever a Sunday where you were watching Gable. One it was of always was I always caught it on Goblet. It was always on Goblet yeah. of Fire. I don't know why. Yeah, it was yeah. never on Order of the Phoenix. That no. was never playing. No. Never was. But mm. I was Goblet. Too dark. Too dark. Oh my god! I forgot about. I didn't. I had no idea that Spike TV changed to Paramount Plus. Yeah, I don't think they thought that the you know the first network for men was a was a great business slogan uh, as you headed <laughs> well, into. Of course, you got Blue Mountain years. State. You know, yeah, you got you yeah. got a karaoke karaoke showdown with uh, Craig Robinson. <laughs> You're looking at the oh, program. Wow. Right? Yeah, yeah look it up. On there? Spike TV had like everything original no a thousand ways to die is the one I was oh like, yeah oh. that was good shit. yeah or a thousand one ways to die i like uh, that one i remember like having that ink master was that on there what was no, that i think a- that was not bravo that was uh shit what was that Ooh, remember pros versus joe's no, uh, uh, where they where they stacked up pros against average Joes. You guys remember that? No, I don't remember that. No, that was a fun show. What's the what was the one where they would like? I I don't think I'm thinking of a thousand ways to die, but it was like they would examine like how like knights and like or like samurais like would use their weapons and kill, and then they pitted them against each other or something like that. Oh, I don't. I think that might be on like A and E or something. Oh, that wasn't spike? forged in yeah. fire. Maybe? I don't know. I don't mm. know what you're talking about, but. Not sure. Yeah. They got so. Ink Master. They got Mansers. <laughs> Mansers. Remember Mansers? Oh, my God. The Scream Awards. Oh, weren't there like Spike TV Awards? I remember the Scream Awards. Like, that was like the horror thing, right? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, my God. What a, they had what a WWE, time. which is where I watched a lot when I was a kid. But, yeah. Wild times, oh, man. man. Deadliest Warrior. That's what I was thinking Ooh, of. Yeah. Okay. That was what? on... Did, wait, did they have Chris Angel Mind Freak, or was that Discovery or one of those? That was, ones? No, that was oh. that was like that was like A uh, and E maybe or something. I don't know. Deadless Warrior was uh was, that Mind. was on Spike. Okay, Deadless Warrior was okay. Yeah. Nice. A and E was Mind Freak. Mind Freak. Mind Freak. <laughs> I am the Mind Are Freak. Are you ready? Yeah. How we not sound by to that? We we oh, we talk about that theme song all the time. How we and it's, not sound it's so it? like in, it's like. Like it's super into yeah. the microphones. Let me see if I can find it. Hold yeah. on. Let's see. Right. Hold on. Hold on. My buddy loved that show. He like <laughs> was the biggest Chris Angel fan. And we played Xbox together. And you know, you got the old school headset on Xbox 360. Mm-hmm. He would like come into our games, so like good. singing the song. Are you ready, boys? Are you ready to do this? <laughs> My bride. Play some Halo. All right, let's see what we got here. Hold on, hold on. Let me lower the volume. All right, yeah. Are you ready? Oh, yeah, of course. It ends. I'm just going to narrate it for you guys. Uh, of course, we got some dusty uh, planes here. Oh, yeah. Are these streaming anywhere, by the way? Oh, they got to be somewhere. They got to be on, on Paramount Plus. Oh, my God, he's floating. Is he's it floating over the Alexa, right? Flowers. Yeah. Alexa, I mean. No reality. Oh, my goodness. Now he's on fire. Oh, yeah. Uh. It sounds like a oh, self like wa- shot. Oh, he's man. walking on water. Now he's floating like like a like he's possessed. Oh man. <laughs> he sings his own song. He does. My. All right, here we go. Let's get to the yeah. end here. Here we go. Oh my god. <laughs> That's so good. Let's do it. Are you ready? <laughs> Are you ready to hear? Yeah. It cuts off so abruptly too. Are you ready? <laughs> it just it that's a guy. <laughs> oh, that's amazing. Love it. If oh, you were to guess Chris guy. Angel's age right now, Ooh, what would you game. how old would you think? Okay, he so is that guy was right now he was the shit in like, like 2008. That's when he hit it big, right? So he had to have been like 30s. in his 30s I'd then. He, yeah. So he's got to be like 55. Oh, oh. Like, I'll say I get it? Oh, Christian uh, Christian. I'll, I'll give him the benefit. I'll say 52. Oh, he definitely fifties. Born on December nineteenth, nineteen sixty-seven, which, as of this recording, makes him fifty-five years old. Oh, yeah. holy shit! That's what I'm talking about. Oh, he's wow. fifty-five. Man, is he still like doing? I mean, does he have a Luxor? I think, I think he, he has, he a, has a show still. I want to yeah. say, um, mm-hmm. but I remember like, yeah, he was all over like the tabloids and stuff. Like he was dating like Paris Hilton, Lindsay Lohan, something like that. Mm-hmm. I think back Total, in the day, like two thousand. Yeah. 
like that Ed Hardy vibe. You know what I mean? Like that yeah. was that was the thing. Hell yeah, dude. He was just like, <laughs> are you ready? The loudest shirts ever. Yeah, and it's he Ed spells Hardy. it Chris, right? C R I S S. Uh, two S's. Yeah. C R I S S. God, look at that. He's just yeah. the first picture. Just so cool. Yeah. Just so goddamn cool. You just look at that picture <laughs> and you're just like, are you ready? <laughs> the, the total emo haircut. Are you ready? <laughs> <laughs> I love it. Oh man, I, I believe his favorite band was Corn, if I recall, because I used uh, to watch that show. Who didn't? Uh, and sure. I remember he got to jam one day with Corn, and it was like a big deal mm. for him. Fieldy. So. Yeah, he he with, with all uh, those guys, Jonathan, Jonathan? Davis. Wow. Yeah. Oh my god, I got it. I wonder if it is on Paramount Network, Paramount mm. Plus, because that's uh, where's Chris Angel Mind Freak stream? That's where show. we got it. He know. got into some trouble a little bit. Oh no, did he? Uh, uh, yeah, I didn't want to say no. it. That's my new thing. I'm not going to be like, didn't he yeah. have like a, a thing? Oh, well, if, if you see one, let us know so we don't. Blame well, I, I remember there was some kind of controversy, but I didn't want to be like, I didn't he have like Got a it. problem. I just, Got like, it. Yeah, yeah. yeah. We've been yeah. burned in the past. Right? It's streaming on Roku, by the way. Uh, never mind. Mm. Uh-huh. <clears throat> I thought it was a the bully. Anyway, it would be on the uh, Paramount Network. Uh, Paramount nothing Paramount. about David Blaine, though. Am I right, guys? Nothing, nothing sketchy there. <laughs> or was it him? Yeah, I thought he, I think he I had some know. stuff. I think I heard about. <laughs> Oh, no, hold, hold on. on. Hold on. I don't I, know. I, I'm not. I'm my mouth is shut. I heard. I heard I something about it. David Blaine. I'm pretty sure. I like this bit though of us like talking about somebody and praising them and be like, didn't they have a scandal? <laughs> Realizing, oh shit. Yeah. <laughs> Guys, I was rewatching House of Cards, and let me tell you. Okay, so in 2019, yes, David Blaine is under investigation for reports of uh, sexual assault. Yeah, uh, so we don't need to talk about David Blaine. Yes. Yeah. Geez. So let's maybe let's move does, away from the magic world. Does Netflix still have all? seasons of house of cards available <laughs> yeah yeah i yeah, think pretty so sure they're not gonna yeah. just like wipe it clean no they're uh-huh. just gonna get rid of that they, they, they're gonna they get rid of gems it. like k-pax you know they're not gonna get rid of that oh, okay. They're gonna, okay yeah because mm-hmm. the first season of house of cards is fucking amazing Dude, the first <laughs> cody what are your thoughts oh, on, i feel uh, like I, I remember having this exact like joke conversation yeah. we we're like okay but house cards was really fucking good yeah. and we're talking about <laughs> well doesn't like uh didn't Chappelle have that bit before he became all dumb and like old boomer like about uh if, if, no about house of cards like if you just they just waited like one more year to finish yeah. house of cards or something like that because yeah. uh, i did i i stopped at a certain point i think stopped before all the stuff came out uh yeah, i stopped on like season three or four i, don't I think know. it was like four once he became president I well, think I like fell off. I don't know when that was. I mean, there's one yeah. season. I think it's either like season three or I think it might have been like season three that it's like good. It's like one episode where he gets he gets like shot and it's like insane. It's just like some wild, crazy shit that happens. But wow. we forget like that was the <laughs> good good series. I know. I mean, <laughs> <laughs> no one talks about it anymore. Why yeah. is that? I do uh, want to. It's like yeah. it's it's hard because I do want to like watch it and finish it just to. Because I know, like, they went through a whole lot, but it's out of a million other shows online. Right I know. Now, I, know. Like, just, I, I got go this back thing just bugging me, man. I really yeah, want to finish those, it. Those yeah. first couple, yeah. that first season is fucking up. fantastic. Well, also because Rachel Brosnahan's in that in that yes. one with Doug is played by Michael Stuhlberg. No, it's Michael what? something. No, 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 no. Um, his his sidekick. Oh no, no. I'm I thinking think of it, a different guy. Your Doug is the uh, Co- Corey. Stoll Corey Stoll is, is, in, is it. in the first season, yeah, and that's he make he makes the season. Yeah, he's he's like, fantastic. He's really good in the first season. Yeah, but um, uh, uh, and then Kate Mara, Spacey's of right hand man. Yeah, Doug. I'm thinking of Michael Michael Kelly. Michael Kelly. Michael Kelly. Yes, mm-hmm. that's what it is. Doug Stamper is the character name. Yeah, yeah. I think guy's also and, in Dawn of the Dead. If you recall, that's yeah. where I first saw him. He, he's in the Snyder the, Dawn of the Dead. He was the, uh, the asshole. Uh, was he the asshole? Yeah. He's like, I think so. He's one of the security guards who ran the place. He didn't want to let him guard. in at first. He has like the best then, death because like when he's getting crowded with zombies and he's like about to blow himself up. He's and the last thing he says, it's the coolest thing ever. He's like fucking figures, boom, blows yeah. himself up with the zombies. It's so cool. Yeah. <laughs> That's Zack Snyder. He needs to make more stuff. Zack Snyder's <laughs> best movie. Uh, yeah, I like Watchmen. I, I, I yeah. fuck with Watchmen. I like Watchmen a lot, but Dawn uh, of the Dead is like. Watchmen. Yeah. In terms of overall enjoyment, it might be Dawn of the Dead. Yeah, fuck yeah, that. it is. Fuck yeah, Sarah um, Pauly, director Sarah writer of Women. Talking. Now she's yeah, she's a director now. Yeah, holy yeah. shit, I knew that name sounded yeah. familiar. Yeah, she's the lead in Dawn of the Dead. Oh my god, and Splice. Come back to me now. Have yeah. you guys seen Women Talking? I heard it's great. No, no, I'm not. Have you seen fan. anything? You guys <laughs> talked about anything? 
I've seen a lot, dude. I've seen so much stuff. It's so Did we weird. See Avatar? Did we talk about Avatar? I don't think we ever we talked about it. Avatar. Yeah, we we stop, Cody. We already established our last show is December fifth. There's a lot right, we need to catch right. up on. What? Well, Cody went off a tangent about his butthole. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> my butt cheek. My butt All right, cheek. My, my cute Sorry. little butt cheek. Why does, you should have right. just said it was the butthole. It would have made it funny. No, you, keep, no. it, you, I get it. You want it, You want us to say it's a cute butt. Yes. Yeah. Come on. You, not, you, I'm never going to say it's admit a cute it. butt cheek. Admit I'm not, it, I'm guys. Not. Come on. Please. No matter it. how much you like, try to throw that in there, it's my cute butt cheek. <laughs> please, no, it's not. <laughs> please, 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 Cody, cut that into a short about your whole ass, th- this whole thing about your ass. It was, guys, it, it, it escalated, man. It got, yes. there was a moment where I thought, like, what if I died during this situation? Oh, right wow. Now? You just fell straight forward. Yeah. Like, <laughs> and then, like, the autopsy people are like, how, how, how did he die? butthole blood out of his they would yeah they would have found you little butt cheek they would have found you ass up and like face into the floor yeah like just like draco was (laughs) yeah (laughs) because because your dogs boned each other get it Uh, uh, no not boned each other excuse me okay one Uh, boned the other yes got it my comment still stands all right if they did a toxicology yeah (laughs) on your body would they have found alcohol some, on the night of the butt bleeding? Yeah, yeah. No, that was a sober oh, night. It was a Tuesday. Was sober night. Yeah, it was. So they didn't think, uh, oh, yeah. Damn, he I had uh, some. I wish you had that clean. <laughs> it was a Tuesday. Tuesday. <laughs> you didn't, so it's not like, oh, he was full of uh, wine. Not wine. No. Nah, they didn't walk in. They walk in. He just in. fell forward. <laughs> ass bleeding. <laughs> But he was totally on bourbon. Totally healthy. He was losing an NBA 2K23, but he was uh, totally healthy. Yeah. Yeah. <clears throat> Anyway, Avatar. So, so we, yeah. we saw this. Did we enjoy it? I it's saw it. Yeah. movie of the of the millennium, guys. Yeah, I liked was it. It was good. Guys, you didn't know this. I haven't talked to you about this. Mm. I saw Avatar twice. Whoa! I think I did know that. You shill. Well, no, well the, 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 the fans don't know it because we haven't uh, recorded nah, they know since it. December 5th. Go ahead. Finish it. I'll tell you why they but, know it. Well, I'm sure they're sharing shit in the Discord, but the real fans, <laughs> the real fans, that the real aren't fans our, who don't, that aren't in the Discord. Discord, the true fans that are not in the Discord, don't pay who us any aren't money. Part of our Patreon, yeah, okay. I, I saw it on a pre-screening, and then I, I went to the fucking premiere. Yeah, my first premiere ever. That was the first night we didn't do wangers, and that's what people brought up in the Discord. Oh, yeah. <laughs> you don't have to do the wanger show. And they, they showed your photo, and you looked so happy. <laughs> you thrilled. I was yeah. going to miss it anyway, because yeah. Mark, Mark, Mr. Mark Ellis invited me. Yeah. Like, he invited me to the screening, or to the premiere, and I was like, all right, funny, funny, ha-ha, I get it, you're a comedian, Mark Ellis. Yeah. You're not going to, I'm going to show up in a suit, you're going to be like, ha-ha, point at me, there's no premiere. Ha-ha, everyone laughs. There's no premiere. But no. <laughs> What? That There's just such no a premiere. dark joke for Mark to do. <laughs> yeah. I don't see Mark doing that at all. No. He's just like totally like is twisted inside. Maybe yeah. yeah maybe that's like because he's everyone knows he's like the nicest guy, but he is he he allows himself to be mean just one time out of the year, and he chooses yeah. you as the target. That's his that's his purge. Right? <laughs> yeah. Wait, yeah. yeah, he waits till December. And then, yeah. Yeah. And then everybody is like, oh yeah. well, yeah, you deserve it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> so so yeah, I I went to the uh, the premiere of Avatar on the blue carpet. With Mark Ellis. Oh, big man. That your first premiere? Oh, that's exciting. My first premiere. Oh, that's my first premiere. Oh, yeah, yeah. Baby's, baby's first the, premiere. I remember my Dolby first premiere. Theater. Dolby's yeah. a nice one. Yeah. Have the you guys Dolby. been to the Dolby Theater? Been to two premieres. The only two that I've ever been to. I'm not oh. trying to one-up you here, but the, yeah. the two that I have been up to, you kinda been did. to were, the, were the Dolby. Yeah. You kind of just did one-up me, but so. Well, yeah, that's, that's two's more than one. one. It's double it, actually. I've only I don't mean to one-up you, but I went twice. I don't mean to, but. Did you go to the Power Rangers one? Which one did you go to? No, oh, I, I went to oh, thanks for yeah. I like went Solo. to Avengers Age of Ultron and then I went to oh. Solo mm-hmm. with uh, Mr. Christian there. Yeah, that well, was you fun. went back in 2014? 2015. 2015? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Oh, look at I you. won uh, the little contest on Schmoes and then I went with uh, Harlan. It was, it was fixed. Oh, they owed Cody yeah. something so he, yeah, he They didn't know me. Shit. <laughs> I'm just kidding. I don't remember. <laughs> All those games are rigged. Um yeah. Uh yeah, the Solo one, that one was fun. And how many have you gone to, Christian? Yeah, I guess. Te- I, I guess Tell technically it Let's... would be two because I didn't even think about the uh, the Power Rangers one because that wasn't at the Dolby. That was a that was the one near um, uh, UCLA. Uh, what's that? Uh, what's that theater? Are you all the way in Brentwood? I don't yeah. go down there. Yeah, that was there. The uh, the one I saw licorice pizza at, and everyone yeah. posted the same uh, yeah. shot. Uh-huh. Yeah, yeah. Uh, Across the street from oh, the that's the... not a from the CPK. <laughs> 
<laughs> <laughs> the after party was at CPK, you said? No, okay. they did have. That's good food where the Power the Rangers party. one was. Yeah, yeah, they didn't. I mean, you know, it wasn't gonna be like it was Lionsgate though. Yeah, I don't know. Yeah. Oh but wow, it was cool. Yeah, it was. All right, so you've been to one and a half. Yeah, I'll give it a half. Yeah, <laughs> that was a premiere. Come on, no, that counts. That counts. Yeah, I thought you were on the Hollywood Boulevard. No, uh, uh-uh, that that was a uh, freaking far one, but uh, a fun so one. Brian, you're out there swimming in the blue carpet. Did swimming. you did you see any famous people? Did you, did you mingle? Did. did you talk with any other parents or take, dog? Did you take photos of them from afar? I did. I did not. I I did not take photos. I did not talk to anybody. I was mm-hmm. like, I'm here for the fucking movie. Yes. Right? Yes. Mm-hmm. What time does this thing start? You sound like a blast. Going? How many how many trailers <laughs> we got here? Cinema. Okay. Yeah. What trailers? Can yeah, I? Just we got pop thirty in minutes of trailers? trailers. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Um. I saw Zoe Saldana. There's an there's an Enya. Don't think there is. Yeah, there is. There is. Look it up. So Danya? Google it right now. I'll wait. I'll wait. I don't believe you. I don't Look believe you at all. Look it up. How do you how do you oh, spell shit Zoe? balls? There is. Yeah. Fuck how off. have we fucked up as a society where Whoa. we have not recognized that? Huh. Yeah. Hmm. I know. I, I'm gonna I still say Zoe Saldana. I don't know. Yeah. That'll I mean, cost me one premiere. Premi- that I think cost she me changed one it after. Uh, oh yeah. She changed it after a uh, drumline. Right. 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 <laughs> All that long time ago before she got big. Drumline's fucking awesome, man. Do you guys remember the trailer for Columbiana with her? No. Yeah. So it's an know. action movie from like 2010, 2011. But the trailer is notorious for just having one guy repeat, I think, six or seven times in the trailer, never forget where you came from. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Remember that? Mm-hmm. And then he's like, Are you ready? That's it. It's <laughs> yeah. kind of weird. <laughs> Anyway, oh wow! I haven't, I haven't seen that movie either. Never forget. That was like that's like that reminds me of the Purge trailers. Any any Purge trailer after the first movie, they would just have. There was a line in the first movie where the mom says to the kid, "Like never forget what the Purge does for us" or yeah. some shit like that. It and always it, ended every trailer. Every yeah. one is just like it would end. Da, 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 da. Yeah. Never forget what the Purge did for you. It, it just at the end of <laughs> every single Purge trailer. Who played the mom in the first movie? Oh. Uh, Sarah Polly. No, uh, yeah, of course. Donald Shut Donald. your mouth. Uh, that's not what it is. Uh, uh, it's, it's, it's Lena Headey, actress. Yeah, Lena Headey. Yeah, hell yeah. Mm. I saw you look it up. I see your hands. I see your hands. Lena Headey. Like, she has an Enya too, over the E. What would that Ooh. sound like? Hiday. I don't know. Hiday. Hiday. I don't know. Anyway, so you had a great uh, time at your premiere, though. That's awesome. Yeah, man. I saw Zoe Saldana. Yeah. Um, there was like a changes there was like every a, time. <laughs> a car. There was a car. Holy there shit, like Brian! A, like, <laughs> drove through the theater. No, there was like a, at the very like. So we walked the blue carpet, and there, yeah, then there's like swam the blue carpet. Line. They should have made that thing a fucking pool. If yeah. they want to like commit to it, make them swim, like, Jim. Yeah. Mm. First of all, like when there's premieres in Hollywood, because I have to drive there to get to work, and I'm like, fuck these premieres. Man. Yeah. Oh yeah, it's yeah. annoying How as fuck. Mm-hmm. Stop. Blocking yeah. off Hollywood Boulevard. Yeah. But yeah. when I'm there, I'm like, okay, I get it. I get it. Like you got you got need time to set up and you yeah. need like a whole week to like block it off and all yeah. that stuff. I get it. You know, like take your time. <laughs> Only if I'm part of it. <laughs> and you're saying this as you're giving an interview to like access Hollywood. Like, yeah, 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 I get it, you know. Yeah. I Maria Menunos. So. Yeah, like, yeah, yeah. why why understand. do you guys have to like, block it off? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh, not a yeah, bad no. impression of that laugh. Yeah. Man, uh, but, you, you know, you, you see yeah. one too many newbies before the movie yeah. start, you, you just pick up on it, you know. <laughs> Yeah. So anyway, so then, uh, you know, so Mark guides me through the uh, process of like, well, here, they're going to take your phone away right now. So I'm going to check the scores. <laughs> He's like, he, it was Monday night. He was watching Monday night football on his phone. <laughs> it's very important. Yeah. I love that guy. <laughs> He's anyway. like, well, they're going to take our phones away. So he's got his priorities. Last, yeah. one, one last Instagram out. And uh, there goes the phone. Looks like so, the Patriots are up by 10. Okay. Yeah. Move on. So they do take your phone away, which is weird because then you have to talk to people. Yeah. And I'll Brian, Mark, I'm, what? I'm just here to see the fucking movie. I'm here to see the cinema. <laughs> yeah. Uh, but so I'm just hanging out with Mark and then he leaves me and I'm just like, I can't check my phone right now. I'm just going <laughs> to mm. stare straight forward because I don't know anybody else here. Are you... This was still when you were outside on the carpet? No, yeah. this is when we're at our seats. Oh, that's oh not okay. Bad. Yeah. You got but I'm that. just like sitting forward and there's like the DJ playing music and it's the movie hasn't started yet. I'm just He's like, like doing a remix of the... Oh, 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 oh. Yeah. Um, when I went to the premiere, I had an awkward situation where my phone was always taken away, but I had a watch on. So everyone was asking me what time it was. Little did they know, my watch was broken. So I had to tell at least nine or ten people that, like, it the watch doesn't work. I'm sorry. And <laughs> it's, it's all really embarrassing. 
You should have just lied and said, like, eh, it's about 8, 15. Just tell people different times. Yeah, get yeah, really yeah, fucking totally. confused. Yeah. Yeah, that you just look at it like, ah, yeah. and then you're safe. Back down. Why are you wearing a Cody broken watch? It looked cool, man. It looked really cool. Does it? It was a, it was a cool watch. <laughs> Is it worth yeah. explaining? No one's going to be like, hey, that watch looks like it might not be working. They're going to be like, that's a sick ass watch, bro. But, yeah. but like, after like you. the second time that somebody's asked you, yeah, what, what am I going to do? Get rid of the watch at that yeah, point? I, I got it on. I might as well just. You just tell them. I, long sleeve. I, I just beat the Last of Us. He had a broken watch. I thought it was pretty cool. Yeah, you know. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Just kind of yeah. into it. I don't know. Yeah. yeah. So, so you you so saw you it. Saw the movie. Saw the movie. Uh, also, real quick before I, I get into the movie, uh, Bob Iger was there. Ooh, was Daddy like, Bob. Did you talk to him? I didn't talk to him because he's on he's on the lower end. You know, I'm yeah. up there. I'm and at the, the top. I'm like, hi guys. We're at the yeah. very far so end. The nosebleeds. Of the yeah. yeah. That's where they stuck all the critics, just in the corner. Yeah. The up critics the, up and top. anyone who has any connection. Yeah. Like, I, I was next to Finn Wolfhard, though. Like, we oh, were, that's pretty cool. Yeah. Directly next to him? Like, he was in my robe, like, on the That's end. cool. Yeah. You ask him, like, hey, dude, what's your deal? Like, what's your problem? <laughs> sure. That's what I did. <laughs> I don't know. No, just something but, random. <laughs> what's your deal? <laughs> That's what I would ask any actor that I talk I, to. I want one what person to deal? talk to celebrities that way. Yeah. But then that's like the only thing. Like yeah. They get on the red carpet like, and they have a microphone. And like, so what's your, what's deal? your deal? Yeah. Can you talk about that a little bit? Like, and then like, give fuck them the it, man. That'd be great. Just to see what happens. Like, yeah. What's your deal? Like, who How says, long you can like, get away with yeah, it? Yeah, I don't know what my deal is. Yeah. I, I don't know, man. Yeah, you know? It's, a, it's like, that's a great question. No one's ever asked me that. I, yeah. Let me open I up. I guarantee no one's asking that on the no, red carpet. That'd be no a lot way. of fun. Yeah. You're like, oh my God, you were amazing in this movie, and they've never seen it. Yeah. We got to find a way to get on the red carpet and try this. I'm not going to do it, but if we can hire someone. No, you like, have oh, to now. Like, what's your there. deal? Yeah. yeah. So, what's your deal? And what's your deal with happens. Cody? Yeah. 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 Or, no, or like, just ask like questions that like they definitely don't know the answer to or like aren't aware of or just totally yeah. irrelevant. Like, do so you think the Patriots are going to win the Super Bowl? Mm. Do you think the Packers are going to make the playoffs? What's going to so go we're on? We're here at the red carpet. It's very yeah. exciting. It's very luxur- luxurious. What do you think about the war in Ukraine? How do you feel about that? <laughs> Talk a little bit about that. That's how yeah. they say it. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Talk a little bit yeah. about yeah. it. I remember anyway, they like did, the movie? They, real quick, they did that with Jeremy Renner when he was promoting the Hurt Locker on, oh, I, think, yeah. I think it was at the Oscars, and they're like, "If you had a, a message for the troops out there right now, what would you, what would you tell the troops?" And Jeremy, Check no. out my Spotify. Listen to my good, music. Good luck and Godspeed. Like, okay. Like he, oh, he, I mean, he like he like totally like played it. He played it off well. Yeah. yeah, like he yeah. Did, but I was like, he's a pro. Ask? Yeah, yeah. No, he he totally like nailed that that okay. question. Okay. Jeremy Renner got hurt while we were out. Guys. Yeah, he got I, I saw thing. that too. Yeah, I hope he's doing okay. I think he's doing that's, a lot wild. better now. Yeah. 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 Yeah, because he posted a photo a couple days after and he, on his Instagram. But then yeah. he had a show come out. Which, like, again, was the Taylor Sheridan, Sheridan joint. Uh, yeah. Mayor of he's Town. like, check out my show. Yeah. <laughs> In his bio below. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Not doing so hot, but check out yeah, the show. Yeah, check out the show. Um, yeah, I hope it's doing okay. So the way of water, Brian, it was, was, was it, did it go your way? Was it a splash? It was, it was a splash in a water. Yeah. It's usually where a compliment or an insult. Usually where splashes funny. happen. Yeah, it was fun. Okay. It was a fun movie. Yeah, I had, okay. I had a good time because I went to the premiere and I schmoozed and I had fun. Yeah, okay. they got gotcha. you. Disney got gotcha. you. Any after party or anything? You just head straight home? No, I just went okay. went home. Mm-hmm. Yeah, nothing okay. nothing exciting. Went home. Um, okay. Went to bed. Been there. That's it. Done yeah. that. Yeah. It's okay. Cody uh, and I went to the we... after party for solo. That was I wasn't going to say it. I didn't want to one up. Oh, you kind of want to. I didn't want to one up. They had little sliders there. It was great. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Free beer. Free great. beer. Where was it at the Roosevelt? Or no? Uh, the building I next forget. door or some shit. I don't know. Because when I got dropped, I took an Uber to the premiere, and then uh, I got dropped off by the Roosevelt, and I went inside to go piss, and I mm. just see like giant signs that said "after party," like mm. Avatar after party. Yeah. And I was like, "Can I Sounds use the right. bathroom?" And they're like, "No, no, no COVID, uh, you can't." I was like, I just got to pee, man. They're like, no, no, you got to need a, you need a pass. You got to pee with a mask on. Put a yeah. mask on your dick and yeah. then you can go in there. Oh, okay. dang. It's yeah. like one of those airplane pilots or, or, or airplane uh, uh, videos on TikTok where they're being escorted. Brian's getting escorted out of the, Brian's the Karen inside the Roosevelt. Yeah. Trying to He's the Odell kiss. Beckham Jr. Yeah. Oh, yeah, I didn't did see that one. Yeah. yeah. Oof. Really? Ooh, there's some yeah. sound bites in there. There's, I mean. What did you say? Oh, it, so he liked... a, it was an overreaction from both parties, but like basically he was being a dude and didn't want to like put on a seatbelt, right? Is that what it was or something like that? Yes. In, in, yeah. In a plane? But then he and starts then, belittling people as they're walking. Yeah, out. he was being a complete asshole to everyone, but it was. Um, it he's was, like, ooh, he's like, yeah. you think I would get off the plane for you? No, you're getting off the plane for me as they were all leaving and shit. By the way, he doesn't have a team. 
<laughs> Odell Beckham is not on a team right now. Just want to point yeah. that out. I thought he was like a Bengal or something. He was no. never a Bengal. A... He was a uh, New York Giant, and then he was traded oh. to the Cleveland Browns, and mm-hmm. then posted his right. dad posted videos of Baker Mayfield missing him, like wide open passes. So then he got traded to the Rams, and then he won a Super Bowl there. Um, he and, won a Super Bowl. Yeah, but he was hurt during the game, I believe. So, and, oh. Yeah, so he's not a convenient. Team. Yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. yeah. You still yeah. get a ring though. Yeah, I think he does. Mm-hmm. So Brian, yeah. what'd you think of the movie? It was good. Uh, it might be in uh, my list if oh. we're going down a list of ten movies that you've seen. Of ten okay. movies that I have seen in 2022. Ooh. Okay. 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 Yeah, I don't think it'll get there for me, but I liked it a lot. Ooh. Can I just say I love the idea? Like, if I was subscribed to this channel mm-hmm. and I saw a video that was titled. Brian's 10 movies that he's seen in 2022. I would laugh and click on it. Yeah. I'm just saying. Oh, like, yeah. Instead of like a like Brian's top 10 of 2022, just Brian's 10 seen. movies that he's seen is a funny video. I think I've only saying. seen like maybe 15 movies. That's this great. Year. Hey, yeah. it, that qualifies. You did yeah. it. Yeah. You did it, sir. Yeah, we're going to get into our top 10 movies, uh, each of us. In just I forgot bit. about that. I got to get my phone. I my yeah, I, I literally back. scrambled and I was like, oh, fuck, I got to put my list together. So I put it together. You don't have your list Am I the only one with a full list right here? No. All I right, have... I'll, start, I'll kick off the show with my honorable mention. <laughs> Are we going into Cody, it now? I want to hear I don't, I don't I wanna hear Cody's thoughts on the water people. Oh, did it make a list? What was that? Did you? I wanted to know your thoughts on the Avatar film. Um, It was good. Didn't make my top ten, but it was a okay. good Ooh. film. Um. I Take made the that, mistake, James. guys. I made the mistake of, of waiting until I think Thursday or Wednesday to buy tickets oh, um, for idiot. the Thursday night showing. Moron. And so uh, the only ones that were available that was like a good spot was in like an eleven thirty show or something like that on that Thursday night. So I got very tired very quickly when watching mm-hmm. this. Eleven thirty. Oh, just like Christian. I don't remember Young. exactly. It was just a very late show, mm. and I passed out at least twice during did, it. Um, did you know it was over three hours? Yeah, I did. I uh, did, but I was like, you know what? I can do it. I was devoted to like getting coffee before, and I totally forgot. Uh, yeah. Um, so I got a coke and tried to, you know, stay awake. It didn't quite work. So I fell asleep a couple you times. Did, you did a bump. I did a bump. But, but I mean, um, but you're not doing cocaine. Though. Just, just I'm not doing you, cocaine. You're, you're just totally my friend is a cocaine dealer. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Mm-hmm. But the thing that happened, my theater experience. There was a moment where I dozed off. Uh oh. Next thing I know, I hear this. And it's a whale. I didn't hear. I didn't hear what you said. I didn't said. hear anything. You didn't hear a. You didn't oh, there hear it that goes. at all. There it goes. Yeah, I heard that. Yeah. And a whale was fucking like, whatever. It's when the kid like makes friends underwater whale, yeah. and makes friends with the whale. But like the jump scare woke me up so much that I literally like startled the people next to me, <laughs> and I literally heard the guy next to me say, "Did you see the guy next to me?" <laughs> <laughs> And the whole time I'm like, I still have two hours left of this movie, and I'm mm. after the sit here knowing that these guys are annoyed with me. I'm like, oh like, god, this you see is that? terrible. You see that fucking was, pussy right there get scared? Of the, yeah. It was a uh, packed theater. It was. It was completely sold out. And oh, I got the one god. seat like in the middle. And yeah, the the whale breathing <laughs> air was a jump scare. It woke oh. me up. And it was very awkward. And uh oh, was my god. yeah. You know what I want to talk about? We Can we talk. stop with the high frame rate thing, guys? It, I had I no idea about that. Oh. Did it look weird to you? No. Really? Uh, well, I mean... I've seen his TV at home. I get it. Okay. I, I, I have a film, <laughs> I'm just kidding. I put on it's, filmmaker mode. It <laughs> legit looked like bad because of it to me. I don't know. Maybe mm. just my, my stupid eyeballs. All right. Part- I may have a cute butt, but I don't have cute eyeballs. Okay. Yeah. You and saw I it in 3D feel- or no? No, just 2D. But- oh, and oh, it's still a high frame rate still. Yeah, it was it was definitely uh, a frame rate. And uh, um it, it looked like a PlayStation cutscene. Yeah, like, that's what, a lot that's, of the stuff. But I thought that was also Only. I I took that as like the dialogue <laughs> being like, get over here. <laughs> oh, <laughs> like like a, a cutscene. An, an like it was cut like a, it looked like a cheesy ass cutscene. We're mm. like, we gotta go get them. Let's go. Bro. Okay. And it, it felt like a cheesy like. And then it like video pauses game. while it transitions yeah, into the level. It's like, yeah. <laughs> choose where you're going. Yeah. <laughs> Press X to talk to the whale and see yeah. what they've been up to. Yeah. No, it did like parts of it felt or looked like a cheesy ass video game, but yeah. I didn't I didn't I have no idea about high frame rate shit. Oh I'm, yeah, it was so off putting, man. Yeah. 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 It, I, I think it what made it weirder was that it was constantly changing. That that made it a lot more I mean the second it started, I like it was like right away. I'm like, oh yeah, mm, okay. 
I don't I don't understand the obsession with it. I don't, I don't even I don't think you call it an obsession because not that many filmmakers are doing it. But I don't I don't get the point. Of, I'm all for pushing boundaries and seeing what yeah, we can accomplish yeah. in film. But yeah, like those boundaries, I, we've tried it a few times with very big productions, yeah. and it doesn't look that great. Maybe it's just well, I don't know. That's the thing though. Like, are people talking about it though? Besides people like. That are like in the know, that keep it's up with guys shit. that are like, ah, oh, yeah. that's fucking weird. Right? Yeah, because I guarantee. I'm sorry, I noticed it and it bothered me. Okay, I'm not gonna <laughs> I, apologize for that, but I'm but, sorry. But I listened to a podcast where it's like this, the chain, the variable frame rate, fucking ruined the movie for me. Mm. What I'm are like, you listening right. to? Yeah, I don't slash know. film cast. Oh, mm. okay, okay, yeah, <laughs> is it good? Yeah, it's fine. It was a, what are their top okay. tens looking like? Good Babylon. stuff on. Them? Um, yeah, okay. yeah, okay. Yeah, no, it's it's nothing like it's, I'm not like screaming at top. I'm not like Cody. We're like we need to we need it. to stop no, no, no. this. That's no, no, you, no, didn't, you didn't hit the guy again. You're like this fucking. <laughs> <variable> <laughs> you, frame I have a jump scare every time it changes the fucking yeah. frame rate here. Oh god. Um, <laughs> yeah, because like my parents, they saw it and they didn't say anything. They were just like, oh yeah, my I god. think most people. Yeah, you want to see my? I have oh, no let idea. Let me see my parents' review. Let me see if they I noticed if you pointed it out to them, like see how weird that looks in comparison to this. Be like, oh yeah, I do, but like they don't notice it when watching. Yeah. Because the the slash film cast that I listen to, they talked about uh, they play video games at a high frame rate. Yeah, right. Mm-hmm. That's yeah. like a thing. It looked like a video. Game. You typically like video like they video people, games are at sixty frames. Sixty frames. Yeah. yeah. I don't. I I guess I play video games at sixty frames. Like, is Call of Duty at sixty frames? You'd have to I, some. You have to like set it to. Yeah. yeah. Otherwise, so it's I, probably. I have no. I, like, my eyes are not trained to that. I think it's usually like thirty frames, but I mm-hmm. I don't know. You, you can change it. To a variety, I think it the, depends the on your standard is sixty that you, yeah. you want to mm-hmm. the or optimal video games. Yeah, mm-hmm. yeah. this is but my that makes uh, it just. Oh, go ahead. I was gonna say this is my parents' review of of Avatar. Uh, seeing Avatar last night, uh, my dad gave three thumbs up. I don't know how three. many that's out of. Out of I don't know. Yeah. What's and, that third thumb? And he followed it up with saying, "And didn't fall asleep." And I was like, "Oh, cool." I was like, "Nice, right?" I mean, I said, "Nice, cool, right?" Like the movie. He's like super impressed by everything. That's what my dad said. My mom, it was great. What a beautiful movie. <laughs> oh. Not not like, you know, it was good, right. but that high frame rate was a little sus. Yeah, nobody cares. I kind of want to have your parents call in to do movie reviews <laughs> on the show now. Totally, it's kind yeah. of a fun segment. Like two minute movie reviews of Christian. They, Yellowstone. They will yeah. yeah, they will review Yellowstone. They're on yeah. um Your Honor with Brian Cranston right now. Oh. That's the next one. They yeah. have showtime. Yeah. Oh, they got showtime. Yeah. They got that. Hey, Yellow Jacket's coming back. Yellow, baby. Yeah, I was about to say, oh. guys, we missed a lot, man. Woo! Yellow Jacket's coming back. Coming back. Uh, I'll come back. I, gotta, I gotta pee right now. I'll come back. Go go pee. Speaking of The Last of Us, uh, yeah, we did, Cody and I did a review for it. You can check that out on the channel. I'm sure something will pop up. You can go and watch that. We give our, our full thoughts on that. Um, one thing that I watched it again and I forgot to bring up, I won't spoil oh. anything from the episode, but of all the, uh, I don't want to like make the joke or the meme of the subverting your expectations, but they they do a lot of really cool things where they just like flip things like and, and like like literally flip things and then also they if you're like a, a if you're a fan of the game and you know certain moments from happening they kind of they do it differently so in the car chase in the car scene in the beginning it the camera whips the car's going to come you think it's going to bash them and hit them like it does in the yeah. game it doesn't yeah, do that. that yeah mm-hmm. um and then everything else like um everything is framed like on the opposite side. So like yeah. in the game, if Ellie's on the right side in the, in the show, they, they do it on the left and they do that a lot with like a bunch of things, like sort of like literally mirror, making a mirror of, you know, the game. And so it just Those got nice me little visual cues that you can get away with, like not exact yeah. like, copying a scene, I guess. Yeah. yeah. And, it, and it just makes me think like, I think they're going to, I don't know if we talked about it afterwards, but with, with two specific characters, I think they're going to like really switch it up. Oh, I think I know where you're going. Yeah, we'll talk about. It. We'll talk about it. I, yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. I, I, I think they're gonna like throw a fast, but like throw a fast one on us. Like, Ooh, I think okay. they're really gonna switch it up. But, we'll um, yeah. Fuck, man. Do we think Brian watched it? I don't nah, think I don't, he did. No right? way. There's no way. It's a big thing. Like, I know we gave him shit, and it became a thing on the show. But like, mm-hmm. it's a big show. It did really well. Yeah, the pilot did at least. Um, views wise, Amber ended up watching it, and she enjoyed it. I think. Um, okay. <laughs> during like the moment, like you know, the moment in that first episode. It's like, you know, emotional, dramatic, blah, blah, blah. First thing, Amber, like, I'm like, this is my third or I think second or third time watching it. And I'm already like tearing up. And she, and she's just like, God, look at his arms. And I'm like, Amber, now's not the time. 
He does have impre- impressive. Huge. I think the triceps get flexed yeah, a lot in that one. It's yeah. not necessarily a bicep flex. It's a tricep I mean, flex. You see, it's all covered in blood and yeah, shit, too. It looks good. He's it daddy. Good, man. I mean, he's yeah. definitely daddy. And I, I learned today that the the daughter, his daughter in the opening, uh, is Tandy Newton's daughter. Yeah, I learned that, too. It's crazy. Yeah. Crazy. I, I, I want to be. the Baby article that came out while we were gone? Man, oh, that's a whole one? thing. Oh, I don't, yeah. Baby thing? I, I want to be a Nepo kid. Man, that'd be cool. I don't have a problem with it. Like, hey. No, like, they're all super talented. Fuck yeah. It, I mean, but, yeah. it's all in the genes, you know? Um, but, uh, yeah, Last of Us. Good shit. Check it out. Yeah. Every Sunday. Should be able to do the second one. Yeah. Well, for me, at least being on the recaps, we'll, we'll see once as once we get closer to the, the kid yeah. being born. But I should be able to do at least number two and maybe number three. We'll all see. right. Yeah. We'll see how yeah. it goes. Um, yeah. Are you watching? Um, I need to catch up. I'm, I'm behind on Mythic Quest, but I ha- I did watch Servant. The first yeah, episode. I watched Servant as well. Dude, what a cool, just like, well, first of all, it's it's wild. Like, we've we've gone over the The show is, is ridiculous. Yeah. Um, but I'm all I for it. Gloriously ridiculous. Yeah. It, it's, it's a lot of fun. The, the yeah. first episode back, I was like, does nobody live on this street? <laughs> <laughs> but I, it was. Spent like 20 minutes in that car. Yeah. Like, what a wild it felt thing. like, it felt like, like a bottle episode, but it's weird because yeah. it was their first episode back. But, so interesting. Um, but I thought. It was it was a cool way to like start it because that reveal at not a reveal but you know when um they all come home and she's in yeah. the the uh, Darcy is it Darcy right Dorothy Dorothy excuse me when she comes I know home that cuz uh um Ron Weasley's accent is like Dorothy and it's always funny yeah. yeah Dorothy oh I can't I'm so, M Night Shyamalan he's in the new M Night movie I yeah. can't wait Oh when's that come out That's February, coming up soon February What a time what a time Oh it's a good God. time good time man is sir m night's back baby i don't know if it's gonna yeah. be good but i want to see it um, i'm stoked for it uh but yeah oh i got a movie no you go ahead go ahead uh no i think that's i think that's it we talked a little bit about masks earlier have hmm. you seen sick oh no i have peacock? on peacock i've, yeah, I've heard of this one i think i saw the trailer and there was like a clip that kind of threw me off uh, that I was Dude. like, uh, I don't know about that, but it's a it's a new Kevin Williamson slasher. Oh, I didn't know, did you know that. that he wrote it. I yes. didn't know he did that. All right, so it's a slasher set during COVID. the early days of COVID, which sounds incredibly like annoying and like, yeah. oh, that's going to be terrible. Mm-hmm. He finds a way to make it work. It's very entertaining and okay. a lot of fun. I, <sighs> I loved Sick Man. All right, that's the best movie of 2023. Ah, also the only movie of 2023. All right, I'll watch it tonight. Yeah. I'll watch it. I'll stay up late. Uh, because yeah, but it's think- also super short. It's oh. like 80 or 90 minutes. It's I very like that. Short. It's very quick. I think I, when I saw the trailer, I saw the clip where like she tries to get into an Uber and then she's like, but do you have your mask? And I was like, oh, come oh, on. That clip. Yeah. <sighs> yeah. I was just like, oh, it's one of the better scenes. I don't know. Right. Like, you know, I think we talked about like movies incorporating COVID um, like Glass Onion does it, but it, they never literally say. Yeah, COVID. I think and I think the jury's still out. Like, we'll see when you, the years pass how those age. I don't yeah. Know. Yeah, we'll see. Yeah. But, Not well. Yeah, yeah, we'll see. I don't think Brian, you stay away from this movie that I'm talking about, but Christian, check out yeah, Sick on I'll Peacock. Check it out. It's uh it's 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 a fun little movie, man. Okay. I didn't finish the glass onion, but um does COVID like come back later? No. no. It's just the beginning. <laughs> no. It's just the beginning. It's like why why is it set in COVID? Time? I think it's literally for an excuse just so they can be on an island. Like to to get them moving forward. I don't think it was necessary, but yeah, it, well, was, it was um, totally not necessary. Because like, I mean, I, I like the the jokes and shit that came out of it. I like yeah. the little uh, the Ethan Hawke vaccine yeah. that they gave like, each other. Yeah, they good. did all, yeah, they mentioned yeah. all that it's just just for that one bit of like, all right, you are you are safe now. Yeah. I like, guess what, that like what plays is into the character? What is this? You're fine. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> and it just it plays into away. the character of like, oh, he's so yeah. rich, he has this. Yeah, mm-hmm. yeah. All right. You don't like Glass Onion? I didn't finish it. Mm. Sorry. Mm. I have no opinion on it. Okay. But it's yeah. part of your top. <laughs> it's in your no, top 10. It's not. It's oh, not. I hope it is. Damn it. Uh, okay. Um, I don't want to talk about it because a lot of the newer movies that I saw are going to be kind of incorporated into my list. Mm, okay. Um, okay. okay. Um, you guys want to get into this? Want to get into this? Let's just get into You want to start off with some honorable mensch? Or sure. some HBs, some HBs. I don't know why up. it's HB HMs. <laughs> I, I went along with it though. What does the B stand for? If you honorable. Yeah. Oh, AB ABMs. Um, some honorables. I only have like, well, 
I put five. I put like fifteen for the for the top. But my honorable mentions would be uh, Smile, Scream, Watcher, Deadstream, and Bodies, Bodies, Bodies. Oh wait, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Shit, hold on. Yeah, I think those oh. are my honorable mentions. Well, you didn't Scream yeah. five. Five Cream was not in your top ten. No, nah, mm. I liked. I li- oh, and uh, Crimes of the Future. That was also honorable mention as well. Yeah. Oh wow. The new uh, Fantastic How many did you see? movie. <laughs> <laughs> What'd you say? I didn't hear what you said. <laughs> it does sound like a Fantastic Beast title. That's oh, like Christ. Crimes of the Future. <laughs> oh, uh, God. How many did I see? I think I saw like 52 movies. Jesus. Okay, that's more than me. I think I was in the 40s. So yeah, Jesus, that's, more. that's one a week. It is one a week. It, it gets you. 51. We're... Fuck. Sorry. It's less than one a week. <clears throat> that's one a week. Yeah. You should be ashamed. Um, I guess. Oh, I didn't, I didn't include... I include a document in document, but it's not on my list. Like the Tony Hawk documentary is awesome. I forgot about that. Yeah. Yeah. That's 2022. Mm-hmm. It was. Yeah. Oh, I should check my HBO history, Max. <laughs> HBO Max history. Oh, speak no evil. Also honorable mention. Cody don't ever okay. watch that movie, but it's great. Okay. Um, and she said, actually, she said it was actually really good. I did see she. Yeah. That's a tough. I did see she. She said, said on the yeah, she that's shell. A tough one Marshall yeah. the she shell. Yeah. That that was a good movie, yeah. Yeah, it's very good. Brian, what are your honorable bees? My on, my honorable bees. Wait, your let me honorable see. bees. Like, how can I see like what movies I watched on HBO Max? <laughs> what you didn't come up with a list? You, you don't got anything? You just gonna uh, go no, off memory cause... for this, which I kind of like. That's kind of fun. No, no, no. Because no, Christian mentioned the Tony Hawk doc, but that was on HBO Max, right? Yeah, you gotta get a letterbox, buddy. Log oh, all yeah, this yeah, shit. Okay. Yeah. Now, uh, so my my HBs uh, are a couple of horror movies. Ooh. What yeah. a twist! Yeah. Oh man, um, I can respect them, but I I don't see myself like revisiting them or loving them that much because they're okay. both silly. <laughs> okay, uh, X was my. Uh, mm-hmm. That's HB. right. You had you had some issues with that one. Yeah, it's just silly. Okay, yeah. same same with Barbarian. They're my two my two honorable mentions. Oh, that was they're, right. They were well tuned. done. They were well done. They were fun, but not for me. Okay. Not, not fully for me. Fully. Not fully for me. Halfway yeah. for you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I, I, good moments, but overall, just like too, too silly. Okay. That's it. Oh, That's it. back to you. <laughs> back to you guys. Back to you, Jack. All right. Um, HBs, Cody. So my my HBs. Let's see. Let's. I liked. I got a lot here because it was a good year for movies. So I'm going to list off a lot of honorable mentions here. Movies Uh that were good that did not crack the top 10. You ready for this shit? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Watcher. The Watcher. It's good. Is it Watcher or The Watcher? I think it's just Watcher. Yeah. Yeah, Just Watcher directed by Chloe Acuna. Yeah. Oh, the the girl from. With Micah uh, Monroe. mm Mm-hmm. Yeah, it's a good. It film. follows, yeah, yeah. But there's also the Watcher with Jennifer Coolidge. Yeah, which is where I think I got mixed up there. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, by the way, I watched White Lotus season two, right? Um, Fuck yes. Yeah, it was good. Um, also like she said, like Christian said, um, this she place said. rules was a really good documentary. Don't got to talk about the stuff that's uh, happened since that movie oh, came yeah. out. Yeah. Uh, the menu I liked a lot. Menu was a lot of fun. Oh. I liked Causeway. I liked Something in the Dirt. I liked mm-hmm. Prey. I liked Glass Onion. Uh, there's a movie that I don't know if I've talked to you guys about called We're All Going to the World's Fair. Hmm. I don't know. Awesome. It's an awesome little, uh, actually, maybe don't watch it. But I don't even know if Christian would like it either. Nah. I'm trying to think about it. Well, you know, it's, Cody's, it's, it's, Cody's it's better very, than us, Christian. It's a yeah. very Cody's interesting very found footage movie, kind of. Okay. Not really, but it, oh. it's very good. Check it out. Oh, it's very Christian, good. I think, not Christian, ten, I think you'll like it. I think you'll like it. Not top ten, top 10 worthy, though. Okay. No, I, I'm telling you, it was, good, it was a good year for movies, though, because I want to also highlight Jackass Forever, which didn't make yeah. my top 10, really wanted it to. Uh, the Fallout was very good. Pearl was very good. Duel, my boy Riley Stearns, that movie was very good. And Nope was very good. All those very good films did not quite crack. But not, not good enough. Oh, yeah. Okay. Cody. All righty. Oh. All right, let's, let's get into the meat and potatoes. Or you got your, uh... maybe the bun and lettuce and tomato, because we'll get to the meat. Later, I guess. I don't know. Uh, we'll do uh, in and out college. We'll do uh, ten from six all around the horn. Sure, sure. sure. Brian, you want to start with your your ten through six? What's the tenth movie you've seen this year? Ooh, that's a good question. Um, He's, again, I have I've only seen like uh, fifteen movies. You're, are you deciding right now what's your number ten? Yeah. Okay. I love this. I love this so much. Go on. Um, there's so many movies I want to watch. 
that I haven't <laughs> come across yet. That was the whole job of the year. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Um, but uh, I had fun watching Sonic the Hedgehog 2. <laughs> I liked watching Sonic the Hedgehog 2. Okay. You got your Jim Carrey's, you got your Ben Schwartz. I liked it. I liked the second yeah. one. Yeah, yeah, it was fun. fun. I haven't I, seen it. Um, everyone's... I also thought... Yeah. I also thought Brian was going to say, like, there were a lot of movies I wanted to watch. I really wanted to watch this one, and that's why it's coming <laughs> yeah. in at number 10. Like, that was going to come in above no, the movies that he's already seen. I was going to have, uh, like, a list of, like, movies I definitely want to watch and check out, but I probably <laughs> won't, and they're probably on your guys' list. Mm -hmm. <laughs> oh, that's good. Anyway, uh, Sonic's at number 10. That's Sonic's good. number 10. Yeah. I had fun. Solid I like I, I the first one more, but uh, I, I like the introduction of Tails yeah. or Knuckles. Tails and Both Knuckles, yeah. Yeah, yeah. A uh, big fan of the game, so I just enjoyed seeing all that on screen. And Ben yeah. Schwartz is just so funny and so great. There's all this talk yeah. about the video game curse and all that jazz. Sonic, the Sonic movies are ahead of the curve, man. They're, they're, there's they're... a video game curse. Well, oh, like like adaptation game. wise, uh, yeah, because of the Last of Us and shit. Are they saying like Super Mario is not going to be good? That oh, it looks awesome. I think it, it looks, looks fucking awesome. Fucking amazing. It looks that really movie cool. looks awesome. Yeah. That's gonna yeah. if it if it's just like moderately good, it's gonna just yeah. blow the. I pants think it's off gonna be great. Yeah, everything. it looks awesome. Yeah. Because yeah, they have the Bowser, they have Toad, they have it all. Yeah, and Mario Kart. Like, oh my! Oh my god! Oh my uh, god. I think I'm he's there. he's gonna come. I <laughs> Where's that sound did. like? <laughs> I did. That's what it looks like when I do it. Yeah. Oh my god! Oh my god! Oh my god! All right. What's your number nine? But wait, okay, there's okay. Mario Kart in like <laughs> in the trailer. They we all Mario feel the Kart. same way, right? Holy fuck! If that that's just like adapted properly on screen, oh my god, a Mario Kart. That's number nine. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> Super Mario. Though. Not Super Mario. No Mario Kart specifically. Mario Kart. Yeah. <laughs> specifically, uh, Nintendo sixty four Mario Kart. Yes, of course. Yeah, yeah of course. Uh, and my number nine is the Fablemans. Nice. Yes. I, I haven't seen it this yet. Is it good, guys? I yeah, see it. I like it. It's, it's I refuse good. to pay twenty five dollars at home to buy it, so I'm not sure oh, until the price goes down. Yeah, mm. yeah. Uh, I saw it in theaters. Whoa, ho, ho. I didn't even do that. I went. I yeah, I watched saw, it at home. Saw it at home. You slut. Yeah. I went to the the theater. I saw it with like three other people. <laughs> okay. <laughs> it was a completely empty yeah. theater. Big fans of the post over here. Steve, Steve yeah, Steve there was the nobody post. in Same that crowd. theater. Um, but it, it was fun. There was there was good moments. There was a lot of comedic moments. Yeah. Especially with the um, the Christian girl. Like yes. The, Catholic, the very Catholic girl. Yeah. There's a she's she was like the standout. Insane. For me. I was like holy shit. Yeah. Her and she's Judd so Hirsch fun. too. Judd Hirsch. That's Judd like Hirsch, that's Judd like Hirsch a is, supporting yeah. role right there. If he wins for best supporting, I, like I would I would have I'd be like yeah I get it. I get it, but it is the guy from Everything Everywhere? Is he? He's supporting, right? Oh, he's been winning a lot of stuff. I guess it's yeah. supporting though. He yeah. would be supporting. supporting. I, I'd yeah. give it Jud to him. Yeah. If Judd Hirsch wins over him, then I would I would be upset. Mm. Okay. But I but if Judd Hirsch does win, I'm like fuck. That was such a good part in the movie. Yeah, I would appreciate it. But yeah, but yeah, the fame, but overall, it it could have been better in my eyes. I could number nine. Yeah, number nine. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Yeah, I will say, uh, cutest ending to a movie I think I've ever seen. Totally, like totally. adorable, no, cuter like, than my cute butt. Yeah. Cody, you're gonna. It's not. It's not cute. You're uh, gonna yeah. fucking think it's so goddamn cute. You'd be like, God, I, I love this. Okay, man. I love this man. You're gonna love it. Yeah. Okay. Am I going through my whole ten through six? Yes. Go all okay. the way to six. Take your okay. time. Okay. Um, number eight is Avatar: The Way of Water. <laughs> Splish splash, baby. Splish splash. I was taking a bath. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, yeah, I had fun with this movie. Uh, again, the effects were just mind blowing. Like, holy fuck, how did they do that mm -hmm. type shit? Um, but I feel like overall the story, I just, when I watched it, I was like, oh, I wish like, like all the effects were there. I wish James Cameron could just like get out of this story. Mm. <laughs> like, <laughs> he could do so much, but it just kind of felt like more of the same mm. in my eyes. I just like, just like fucking just go nuts. Mm -hmm. Get yeah. away from the Sully family, whatever. I don't know. Mm. Um, number eight though. Yeah. <laughs> it's still number eight. I only, okay. I only watched good. like 12 movies. It's a better, it's a better <laughs> story than the first movie though, for sure. I don't remember the first one. No, I, well, didn't re, I didn't I didn't rewatch it. Can we talk it's, slight avatar spoilers? Sure. The second one. Or the I mean, one? it's, it's a pretty big spot. The second one. Yeah. I think okay. it's fine. Just the moment where, where one character is like, I want to go home. And then the guy's like, we're going home. Oh man. It mm. kills me. Kills me. 
What, 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 what killed me, this is kind of spoiler, yeah. is when they go into the big battle, the, the water tribe just vanishes. They're Where'd just, they, they go? They, 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 fu- they yeah, piece the like, fuck out. The, the tide pushed them away, I yeah. guess. I don't know. No, yeah, they were no. like, we got our kids, so you handle yeah. your shit. And it's just yeah. the Soli family family and, and the bad guy. It yeah. was like it was very subtle where they're like, "Oh, the eclipse is happening, so we gotta go" or something. Yeah. I don't know. It yeah, wasn't. What, that, very, what was that about? It, that's that's what like I've I've read reviews or whatever. That's like, oh yeah, the eclipse was like what they were like afraid of or some shit, mm. so they just left. But I, I was s- like, "What the fuck?" Did I they, thought it was like, badass that like Kate Winslet was like pregnant, and they're like, "You stay behind." She's like, "No, I go," and everyone was like, "Yeah, that very was irresponsible." Moment. Oh yeah, I mean, <laughs> yeah, totally irresponsible for the baby. Be very careful, Kate. Yeah. 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 Uh, but Jermaine Clement. Yeah. Oh, that was a fun great, surprise. Yeah, great, great part. Do you know who should have played him? Yes. Or was it who? Ah, uh, fuck. I. Who was supposed to play him? Well, who like uh, auditioned or? I, I don't know. Audition met with James Cameron. Shit, and was I saw like, this. Gonna do it. It wasn't uh, like Eric Andre Mark or Marin. something. Or... Mark. Oh, Marin, it was yeah. Mark Maron. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Really? That yeah, was yeah. just a guess based on hair and beard. Yeah. Oh yeah. man. Because he talked Holy about shit. that with Sigourney Weaver, right? Yeah, he's yes. like, uh, wow. I don't know about with her, but with some some episode, he's like, yeah, I was gonna, I met with James to do to do that that the guy that uh, the Flight of the Concords guy played. Yeah, <laughs> oh, that's awesome. Yeah. Oh man. But uh, I can see man. that. But good. James Cameron's not a fan of the podcast. Yeah. yeah. Unbelievable. But uh, but yeah. Um, what were we talking about? The movie's fine. Number eight. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Okay. Number eight. Number seven. My boys. My boys. The boys. Best ensemble of the year. Oh, check. Jackass Forever. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I just had tons of fun watching the movie. One of my favorite movie. theater experiences, and I was by myself watching. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah it, was, it, was a mm-hmm. t- it was a blast, man. Yeah. This movie's awesome. I wish I watched it with friends. Yeah. <laughs> I, I have to, I friends to just like, I don't, I don't yeah. know what like awards it was for, but like Jackass Forever got like a nomination. It was the for Boston. The Boston what? The like, critics. Boston critic. They they, they they tied with women talking for best ensemble for cast. Best ensemble. Awesome. <laughs> it would have been great if it would have got like a like a SAG award. For yeah, like best right. ensemble. Like, <laughs> right. non, that would have lost my shit. That would have been yeah. amazing. Yeah. So fun. I mean, I mean, I Jackass 3D was like the best theater experience that I had mm-hmm. watching it. Like midnight, 3D glasses, dildos like popping through, flying the at your face. Yeah, mm-hmm. diarrhea. Just, <laughs> Yeah, like this is a movie. Everything you expect with cinema in <laughs> yes, the wake of James Cameron's Avatar. Yes, yes, yes yeah. Yes. James Cameron uh-huh. takes twenty years I, to make yeah. a movie. Yeah, I would see a Jackass movie in a higher frame rate, and a hundred percent. Oh yeah, give it to me. They did it with me? the Phantom camera. Oh yeah, but like great. actual, like not exported. Like played, to 20. Yeah, yeah, mm-hmm. yeah. No, the I just had tons of fun. Just like, like I I did a show with Mark Ellis about uh, about like best movies of the year, and Ellis was talking about like it's just a different laugh. Of like when it's like you can't even help just being like ah oh, yeah. ah yeah it's, it's like it. it captured so perfectly just the feeling of just hanging out with your buddies laughing about stupid shit like yeah, better yeah. Than any like scripted comedy ever could I feel like yeah like that yeah. franchise is just too damn good at that yeah and it's, that it's those so movies good. like at least I, this might not be for like everyone and their family but my family and I come together and we watch all that shit together your your yeah. parent you watch it with your parents yeah and, well, I mean my dad oh. will fall asleep for like 45 minutes but like we'll still like laugh and your, like your mom's cracking up watching it yeah and if like, there's any like vomiting stuff my dad would be like <laughs> <laughs> I think we've moved past like the day where like people kind of look down on jackass because oh, yeah oh, remember yeah. it's been what 23 years since it premiered so yeah. like the people who are middle-aged now and getting older like That's watched demo. it when it came out yeah. so like they're more appreciative of it which yeah. i think is part of the reason why this probably got better reviews than any other of the jackass movies i think well right? I, I think jackass 3d is like certified fresh like on Rotten i think Tomatoes. i want to say two through four all are two oh really are. yeah i think one is the only one that's rotten i want to say because oh, yeah the one they were like testing it's rough yeah it's a yeah. it's a tv it's the show it's but I think four was the best reviewed out of all of them. Oh, Jackass three isn't uh, certified. It's only sixty six percent. Oh, but it's still ah. fresh though, right? It's it's still fresh. That it's not certified. Okay, still counts. But Jackass Forever is eighty five percent certified. Yeah. Fuck yeah, let's go. Fuck yeah, hundred percent audience. Yeah, yeah. 91 percent. Yeah. <laughs> right, Hell yeah! All right, what's your? That was your number. That was your seven. That was a that was seven. seven. What's your okay. six? Now I'm gonna change. I'm gonna switch up gears here. And He's go gonna to, actually. I'm gonna put Fableman's at yeah, seven. Like Fableman's before. Now I'm gonna switch up gears and go with a with a uh, like a downer of a movie, but not really. 
uh, the whale. Oh wow! I, oh, I, I still gotta see this. I gotta see that the whale. Um, yeah. I might see it this weekend. I think I might I might go find it. It's still in theaters, or yeah, or you're gonna rent yeah, it. Yeah, it's or, still in theaters. I think I, I was waiting for it, but it's take. Yeah, I, I do. I want to see it at least before the Oscars. Yeah. yeah. No, I mean, all the performances make the movie. The movie itself is very uh, small in scale. It's literally in like one location. Mm-hmm. It feels like a play, which I like. I I'm not a huge fan of when. Because it was a play initially, like off Broadway. I'm not a huge fan when those get adapted into movies, but it still feels like a play. Like I want it to be more cinematic. But the performance is just Brendan Fraser should just win the Oscar, uh, which I don't know if he is now because Austin Butler's like leading the charge now. Which I think is, Butler won the Golden Globes because of the, the Fraser controversy with the whole the history Golden of all Globes. that. Oh yeah, like the way, yeah. The he way, didn't even attend the ceremony. Like the, I understand the whole whale so. team like wasn't there. Yeah, I think. yeah. Oh, that's yeah. great though. That out of out of backing him up like him. that. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah, that's great. Yeah. yeah so, um, but yeah, no, Fraser's great. Sadie Sink is great, and um, I I can't remember her name. I should remember her name, but the one in the menu, who who works for Ray Fines. Yeah, I've... who's like tortillas? Oh, tortillas. Tor- yeah. Yeah. yeah, she plays the uh, the nurse to Brendan Fraser. Oh, good for her. Sh- she's great. Banger of a year for her. Hell yeah. yeah. Hong, yeah. Hong Chow. I I think so. You talking yeah. about his? Yeah, yeah, the right hand person. Isn't... And yeah, 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 yeah. Hmm? yeah. She's no, in she's, both. Yeah, she's great. Oh, and the the kid from uh, Jurassic World. The uh... oh, Ty Simpkin. Simpkins. Is that his name? The, the like, insidious the little, kid. The, the younger kid. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, he was pretty good in the movie too. Um, yeah. But yeah, the the performances, the writing, all of it was just, just oh my god, it's heartbreaking to watch. Mm. Again, it's an Aronofsky joint. I'll watch any Aronofsky joint. Mm-hmm. I just have haven't seen Noah yet. <laughs> but um, it's a but different no, one. Yeah, yeah, it's it's heartbreaking to watch, and it, it just gets you. It just gets you, man. Okay, all right. Yeah. That was your number six. That was his that number, was number six. six. Yeah. All right. All right. Uh, I'll do mine. Ten through six. Uh, number ten, the menu. This was a this was a surprise, a, a very very big surprise. Have you guys noticed this is like taking over TikTok, and like, are you getting a menu TikTok? I, I got that's it. All I'm getting now are just clips from that movie. After I saw it, I got a lot of the I got okay. like the tortilla clip, and mm-hmm. that and then the uh, the student loans one, which is fucking yeah. fantastic. Yeah, yeah. Good. I'm seeing more mentions of it because now that it's on HBO Max, it's like streaming. Yeah. yeah. Um, if you pay for it. Um, but I'm, I'm wondering if there's like backlash to it. Cause people are like, oh, it's a good, it's like, cool. It's a good movie. It's a good movie. But then there's like, yeah, but it's not that good. I don't know. Are people I haven't gotten that, that vibe. Yeah. I've gotten. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Surprise. Mm-hmm. Like it was just a surprise. Cause like the trailers looked fine. It, 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 yeah. it wasn't anything like crazy. It was like, oh, that seems like a, a fun little thriller. Um, mm-hmm. but then in watching it, I was like, oh wow, this is, there's like a lot more to it than that. It was, it was very yeah. surprising. And I, yeah, I wish they made turns. more movies like that where like a bunch of well-known actors and these aren't like A-listers, but like a bunch of well-known good actors mm-hmm. do like these smaller genre movies. Yeah. You know, like, you know what I mean? Fines is not A-list. Anya they all, Joy. all these people have led movies on their own. I'm just saying Nicholas that like Holt? they're not Tom Cruise. How is all I'm dare saying. you? That's all I'm saying. Speaking How of Tom dare Cruise, you say I just Nicholas love Holt is not I just love that in recent years, John Leguizamo has gotten like. Better and better roles because I've I've yeah. always loved him in movies, but he was never in like the best movies. And now like it's like John Wick and this, uh, he's like coming into his own. Yeah, like, like he's like getting yeah. cast in like really really great parts. Um, and he was fantastic. Um, he was. And uh, I was gonna say I was gonna say something about this. Oh, and another not it's not technically just in one location, but it kind of is. Like almost just yeah. in that if in it, that whole restaurant, I was like, is this the whole movie? This is awesome. Yeah. Again, it feels like another like play type thing. Like we, yeah. I can see this on stage. And as somebody who has, oh, they should. Yeah. Oh, that'd, that'd be great. Fun. And yeah. as somebody who's been dieting the past couple of weeks, it was actually nice mm. to watch it up until the burger. <laughs> I was like, oh fuck, burger I'm, looks great. I'm so hungry. But the the constant going uh, when they give the uh, the the food critic the <laughs> that like sauce or whatever, it yeah. just keeps getting the bigger and bigger. Yeah, emulsion. Yeah, yeah. it's yeah. great. Yeah. Um. What, but can we just put in the description? Cody does not think Ray Fiennes is a an A list actor. Look, guys, it's I been a long make... time since Quiz Show came out. Okay, all right, he's not leading he's those Voldemort. movies anymore. Yeah, that's not he's a lead. Voldemort. He's not the lead of Harry Potter. He's okay? barely in those Voldemort movies too. Is. He's barely this in those. Is movies. Ridiculous. You're you're spinning my words. Okay, you're all saying... I'm saying is that it's not Tom Cruise, Robert Downey Jr. 
Samuel Marvel. Jackson. You know what I mean? Marvel. I said, or I said Robert Downey Jr. and you go Marvel. No, I'm just saying like you big said, fucking said, A-list actors. You said Robert Downey Jr. and Samuel L. Jackson. I started with Tom Cruise and then you interrupted okay, after he, Robert Downey Okay, because he's in one movie that just blew the world. Blew Tom up the Cruise world. is one of the biggest movie stars ever. Talking about. He's okay. in multiple movies, yeah. Yes. Yeah, okay, okay. Okay. Why are you hung Ray, up on this? Yeah, Ray Fiennes. They're, they're all very good Anya actors. Anya Taylor Joy's I, A-list. I literally said they're not A-list. Do you know what A-list means? That's like Anya Taylor leading. Joy's not A-list. Okay, there's a difference between leading movies and calling them A-list stars. Do you think Christian's parents know who Anya Taylor Joy is? I don't think so. No, <laughs> not a chance. I only brought up Christian's parents because we're talking about him. Them yeah, earlier. I'm saying like parents in general. Yeah, leave him out of this. That's what I mean by that. That's what I mean by that. They're not a Kevin Costner. Anya Taylor Joy A-list. They're not a Kevin Costner. There is Anya Taylor Joy A list Christian in my eyes because she's gorgeous. <laughs> Isn't it cre- <laughs> you don't have to be all creepy about it. In my eyes, she's an awesome actor, and she's led she's many an movies and been great. I'm not and talent wise, absolutely. Not- I'm just saying that like she hasn't. I'm saying in terms of like worldwide recognition, yeah, she's I not hope a, she gets there because she's awesome. Like a Meryl Streep that, like, is an A list actor. Yes, yeah, uh, that's what I mean. Tom but, Hanks, stuff yeah, like that. Uh, yes, Tom Hanks, of course. Yes. So if I said Tom Hanks instead of Robert Downey Jr., you've been okay with it. That's what I'm saying. Yeah, yeah. Okay, I'm sorry. Hanks. I'm sorry. All right, all right. I just googled top A-list actors, and the first one is Tom Hanks. <laughs> <laughs> so there you go. Where's Anya Taylor Joy? She yes. in there? No. There's, it's all white men. It's all Tom yeah, Cruise, Leo DiCaprio, no. why Robert De Niro, Will Robert Smith. Downey Jr., Will Smith. Will Smith before the slap. Yeah, before yes. pre-slap. <laughs> pre-slap. We'll do ten. We'll give him ten years once he uh, he, he, he so he's allowed back. So you just stand there and tell me. When you meet Anya Taylor Joy, you're not an A. Like, I'll be. I'll so, tell her. It's so oh, nice ridiculous. to meet a. It's so nice to meet a B list actor. That is not what that means at all. No, it's not so at nice all. That means at all. B list no. actor. Brian, no. it's okay. I'll be next to Cody when this happens. And I was like, by the way, in my eyes, you're an A list actor. A- <laughs> <laughs> but according to this guy, you're in B movies. Yeah. <laughs> Nicholas Holt's never gonna look at me the same way again. Star of Jack the Giant Killer. God damn it. Oh, oh yeah. Star all of right. Mad Max. He's not the star. star of Mad Max. He's not a star. star. These are all very good Renfield. actors. They're all. <laughs> yeah, I guess he would be the star in that one. All right, my number nine. God damn it. Uh, <laughs> Everything, everywhere, all at once. Very good movie. Number nine. nine. It's my number nine. nine. I like yeah. the, I like eight other movies more than this one. Uh, it's just long. Yeah. Just a little too long. Just tap. Just tap it. Just, 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 just yeah. You know. Do you see this in the theaters? Or you see it at home. Yeah, I saw this in theaters. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Just, just checking. Very no, good. Movie. I saw it once in theaters, and then um, hey, I watched a, a bit of it when Amber watched it at home, and it's okay. still good. Great movie. Yeah. Michelle Yeoh, A list or B list? I'm not going to answer anything anymore. Okay. What do we do, how, how do we define mm. Michelle Yeoh? That's a tough. <laughs> <laughs> That's a tough. Let me think about that one for a little <laughs> bit. I mean, in my eyes, she's A list. <laughs> <laughs> You're confusing talent with like I know, super I know, stardom, I, is what I'm talking. About I know what here. you mean, but okay. I I know I know what you're saying. A list. Okay. Yes. Let me when I Google it again. <laughs> is Michelle Yeoh Yo pop up? Okay. Harrison Ford, Johnny Depp, Brad Pitt, Jack Nicholson, Hugh Jackman. Mm-hmm. That's what I'm saying. Is there is there a pattern here? Yeah. Leading <laughs> leading actor. I have no clue. I don't want to be part of this conversation. Is there a common thread, Cody? <laughs> yeah. Cody. Um, Cody. Cody Say A-list. It. Say it, Cody. But yeah, All right. good movie. So Very good. Eight, Just, number, that's your number eight? That's my number eight. Just, no, sorry. Number nine. Excuse me. That's oh, my number nine. nine. My number eight. Get ready for this. Prey. I like this Ooh, a lot more. I like Prey a lot. I, I, thought, yeah. you, I thought he liked it more. I, did, I, I, I mean, I just like seven other movies more. Uh, I just love the Predator franchise. I, I rewatched this uh, over the weekend, and Prey is just it's fucking awesome. It's just a, awesome, it's, yeah. It's a great uh uh, return. Oh, I watched it because I did a video for work uh, on on all the Predator movies. And Mark had one of the funniest fucking jokes because he was talking about how um, going forward for all these new Predator movies, they should just have it take place in a different time. So like, you know, Samurai or Vikings versus yeah. Predators. Like, awesome. Some really, really cool stuff. And Mark is like, <laughs> have the Predators go up Jesus and his 12 <laughs> disciples and you could still call it Prey. It fucking killed me. <laughs> killed me. I want to see that movie now. Yeah, Prey was awesome, man. It's that fantastic. Cracked, uh, yeah, that cracked my top seventeen or eighteen. I'm looking at the okay. list right now. Oh my yeah. god, you guys have. Oh, I give so me. Many. I like me a Predator movie where the the Predator's got style. Like he's got some yeah. some good moves. It's awesome. Great stuff. You ever watch it, Brian? You never did, huh? I didn't watch Prey. No, it's yeah, cool. I don't know if you. I think you might like it. You might it's like it. It's a solid action movie. Man. Whoever wins, we all lose. Yes. Yeah, there we go. 
Uh, my number, let's see, 10, 9, 8, 7, Barbarian. Not silly oh. enough for me. I enjoyed it. Um, I, thought, I thought it would be higher. No, I, I like I, six other movies. I like. <laughs> I'm just gonna keep. This, I don't know. Whatever. <laughs> Let's please keep this going. Yeah, yeah. Uh, but <laughs> yeah, we we talked about this movie a lot. Check check out the episode where we talked about it. But uh, yeah, I loved it. Um, lots of fun, nice surprises, and um, uh, great to see just comedic writers kind of taking over the horror genre. Uh, I'm a fan of that. Um, and then my number six is X. X going to give it to you. Mm, uh, thought that'd be higher. Ooh. Hey, that just yes four. Four, five, five other movies. <laughs> I'm fucking losing my goddamn count in mind. Uh, but yeah, X is uh, is very good. Big fan of that one. Fun movie going experience where it was like me and six other people on like a Sunday yeah. morning. You saw it in the theaters. Saw it in the I theater. Wow. Um, yeah, good stuff. X. X good. That's it? Okay. That's it. Cool Cody, you're, you're 10 through 6. I think real quick, I think I brushed over an honorable mention. Did I mention something in the dirt? Because that's an honorable mention that yeah, I wanted did. to bring up. That's a, yeah, it's a great film. Anyway, uh, number 10. Top Gun Maverick, my boy Tom Cruise, A-list oh, actor, yeah. right there, the leading, only A-list actor, yeah. saving cinema, right here, guys. Wow. Tom Cruise, Top Gun Maverick, guys. This movie's fucking. Miles awesome. Teller, A-list star, A-list celebrity. I don't like answering this question honestly <laughs> because it sounds like a put down, and it's time I say no, and that's not the point of this <laughs> conversation. No, we're not A-list act. A-list actors is like ten people total. Okay, not the, anyway. A huge, I'm surprised it made your list. Though. I thought I thought it would be too blockbuster. No, this yeah. movie's awesome. Oh, stay tuned for blockbusters, but Uh-oh. you'll be surprised. Uh, yeah. Top Gun Maverick is fucking awesome. Uh, I rewatched it a week or two ago. Got Paramount Plus. You got like Paramount Plus mm. I, for a trial, so I can check it oh. out. And uh, it holds up. It's 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 one of the best uh, like big budget action movies mm. that, oh, that have come along in a while. Oh my it's, god, the filmmaking behind it! You're like holy shit. Yeah, it's it's just. I it's I rewatched it as well. Uh, yeah. over over holiday break, and I was like, hey, yeah. it's pretty good. Yeah. Yeah. I got Marissa who like gives me shit for Tom Cruise stuff. So, like she doesn't like him at all and she loved the movie a lot too. Oh. It, it, it's bringing people together, guys. It, okay? it, that's what we need. Yeah. Okay. I agree. I agree. Number nine. Number nine, guys. You guys might think I'm stupid. All right. You might think I'm I don't like like I don't read books, you know, but I, I watch interesting movies. Okay, and I watch documentaries sometimes, guys. Oh, the hell's this yeah. going? Tony Hawk. And Tony Hawk until the <laughs> wheels fall off. Coming in at number nine. You're damn right it is. This was a magical experience for me. This guy was an it was a childhood idol of mine. And it was such it was so refreshing getting an honest look at the guy. What he what's a, so fun, guys? Was childhood 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 idol. Childhood idol is a skateboarder. He is was so the idol. Did you choose crazy? Tony Hawk as your as your person on the game, what are you talking about like in like, the video game when you played Tony Hawk's Pro Skater? Did you? Well, yeah. Even... If you want to land the nine hundred, you got to get a guy with a lot of air and vert skills. Yeah, Nobody chose yeah. Tony Hawk. Oh come as their, on, as their Who'd skater. You Bucky Lassick. Oh, Bob Burnquist. Ah, Bucky Green Lassick. Campbell. Oh yeah, he was pretty mm-hmm. cool too. Or, but, or Chad Muska. Chad Muska. Yeah, well, good. they didn't make documentaries about those guys, okay? And Tony Hawk, until the wheels fall off, I thought I felt was a really honest sort of just breakdown of this guy who again was a childhood idol of mine and I, I thought it was super refreshing i i got very emotional i've rewatched clips of rodney mullen talking in it a million oh, times give that guy a it documentary is, yeah such that a guy good documentary amazing guys. oh yeah i would choose him too over tony hawk only on on the street uh levels though because he has no vert <laughs> tony hawk <laughs> is an a-list skateboarder okay that's what we he know is. okay yeah he's a yeah he's anyway. a yeah. yeah number eight, number eight. <laughs> x this is the third time this movie's been brought up. I don't know what else we can really talk about, it, but it, it was a lot of fun. I liked X a lot. Uh, I was very in- entertained. Nice. A lot of good stuff going on. Fun time. I liked X a lot. Bernie Snow, Versus... B-list. <laughs> Kid <Getting> Cuddy. <laughs> <laughs> Number seven, guys. This might come as a bit of a surprise. Scream 5. Ooh, I was wondering. Five I loved this movie, guys. I, I think there might be there might have been a bit of a pushback after it came out saying it was like it delved too deeply into like the requel thing to where it's like you can't just make fun of requels, but you're while still being one. You know what I mean? I don't buy that shit at uh, all. I thought this was a ton of fun. Yeah. I, I loved it. I had a great time with five cream. It was yeah. good stuff. Five cream is good. Very, yeah, very good. The whole good. point of scream though is like commentating yeah. on yeah. what you're doing, but still doing it. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Like, ah, but this is silly though, but I'm going to do it anyway. Yeah. But it's also not the, they're not doing it for the sake of doing it. They're, they're leaning into it a lot more. I think there's a, there's something deeper in there. Five yeah. Cream's great games. Check still, it out. Uh, Looking forward honorable to Honorable mention for Christian. Yeah. 
Just barely. He, he's got 10 movies he likes best. That's just 10, 10 movies on. I like more. You know yeah. it. Jenna Ortega in both X and Scream. Yeah. What a year. And, and Wednesday. And she was Wednesday. in The Fallout, too, which was a part of my honorable oh mention. She's oh, great in that wow. movie. That, the, um, the Scream movie was the first time I saw her, and I was like, who the fuck yeah. is this? She is yeah. in uh, Iron Man 3. She plays, like, the president's daughter, and she's, like, in the wheelchair. That's Jenna what, Ortega. Really? Yeah. Really? Oh. TikTok. Oh, this wow. some random shit that'll wow. give you some information. That's where I get my news. <laughs> yeah, but I was watching, and I was like, who the fuck is Jenna Ortega? And Laura's like, oh, yeah, she's, like, a big Disney star or something. I was mm. like, I don't fucking know who this girl is. You know her name now, A-list? Mm. A list, Cody A list, Jenna Ortega A list, guys. No, guys, you gotta, <laughs> <laughs> gotta think about that. Okay, Jenna Ortega, Jenna Ortega A-list right now. had a hell she's of like a year. She's like the biggest. Right? She's, she's Finn very Wolfhard. hot right now. Finn okay? Wolfhard. She's, Wolfhard. She's got all the heat in Hollywood. Okay, she's, but you gotta A list is something you gotta earn over decades. Buddy. Eleven. You gotta, is she A list? <laughs> She's like 20 years old. Okay, come on. Wow, okay. So it's an age oh, thing wow. now. It's okay. just an age thing. It's yeah. ages. I just said you got to earn it over decades, and you can't oh. do that when you're 20 years old. Yes, okay. you can. No. She may get there. It's very good. <laughs> she may so, get there. <laughs> One day, Jenna Ortega will be A-list. I, I, would, I would not be surprised because she's very good. But, guys, she no, is. too young. She's no. breaking records right now with this Wednesday show. We, we, we have to establish what A-list means, okay? okay it can't just what, mean who's popular. Definite? Because so, so all in, actors are popular so okay, in, and in talented. Your, in your mind, an A-list actor is like who your parents know. Who everybody knows. Everybody knows, yeah. Including your parents. Yes. I, I think the parents are a good control because they... Indicator. Not yeah. just like, I know that I know that face. I know that, that actor from something. They yeah. know the name. Because yeah. they're Call your parents right now and ask if they Brian, know who Jenna Ortega is. Brian, it's 10.30. They've been sleeping for six hours. Ask if Even they better. know who Jenna Ortega is. <laughs> for six hours. <laughs> They didn't go to sleep at four o'clock. They go to sleep so early. <laughs> they now. recorded Yellowstone for tomorrow, bro. They, Give them a break. Come I on. called them the other day, and they're like, "Hold on, we got to pause in 1926 or whatever." <laughs> <laughs> anyway, number six is Barbarian. Um, okay, yeah, we've talked about it. It's right? so silly. I, I had a blast yeah. with this movie. Man. Justin Long, um, A list. <laughs> no. All right. No, I, um, I don't say. I don't think he is. Oh. More than anything with this movie, uh, I'm really happy for Zach Krager. Um, yeah. Longtime fan of Whitest Kid, you know, the fact that he has this movie come out of nowhere and, mm-hmm. and do gangbusters. I'm super happy for the guy. And right. uh, the movie's great. Love Barbara. Yeah. Hell yeah. Number six. All right. Yeah. Nice list. Brian, yeah. let's see. Let's go from your five to two, sir. All right. Hopefully there's some A-listers in here. Uh, we'll go five. <laughs> and this guy's A-list. Let me, let me focus, yeah, focus my up camera, there. though. Yeah. Let me focus my camera. And my fo- no, I'm not in focus. Fuck it. Number five. <laughs> one of the biggest A-listers of all time. Mr. Adam Sandler had oh, a movie yes. called yes. Hustle. Hustle's great. And Hustle is fucking awesome. Yeah. He was great in the show, in the movie. I watched on the Netflix. I had a great time. I mean, the story is simple and all that, but fucking the heart is there. The fucking everything's there. He gives it his all. I love mm-hmm. when Adam, I call him Adam, <laughs> when he just gives like his the movie like his 110 percent yeah same with like uncut gems like he's really trying yeah and it's fucking it's great and he is funny in the movie too like yeah there's some dramatic moments but yeah he yeah he still has his quips he's um yeah i enjoy the hell out of this movie i'm not the biggest basketball fan either but i feel like you can take um what he did like with that guy about natural talent like having natural talent in something but still working hard to like accomplish another thing Mm. Like, mm-hmm. yeah, I, I just thought it's like a universal thing. Yeah. So I enjoyed the hell well, out of it. It's not a universal movie. movie. It's Netflix, but yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah it's a Netflix mm-hmm. movie. Mm-hmm. Uh, so that's number five. Number four, another A-lister, Mr. Top Gun Maverick. Oh, there it is. I enjoyed it. Glenn Powell, enjoyed... A-list? No, nobody knows who Glenn Powell is, right, Cody? You, you know what I mean. He absolutely is not A-list yet, guys. Come on. But come I, on. What I, are we doing? Give, give it 20 doing? years. I would, give, I would, him, give him some time. Give all these yeah. people some time. Check back in in 10, 20 years. Give Miles okay, some time. Yeah, yeah. Come on. Jennifer Connelly. My hey, parent, my parents will know who Jennifer Connelly is, though. They so? well because of Top Gun. No, uh, not I from mean, a beautiful she, mind. She was like beautiful big mind, in like maybe. the the nineties and stuff. Labyrinth, early two thousands. Yeah, okay, maybe. maybe. Okay, maybe. Maybe we'll call them tomorrow. We'll follow up. Yeah, yeah. Just we'll insert get all these answers. Do you know, do you know okay. Jennifer Connelly from from the hit film Dark Water? Was that Jennifer Connelly? That I one. Don't know. I don't know. Uh, I don't maybe know. I don't know. But 
Now the I I saw Top Gun twice in theaters. Uh, just the filmmaking behind it, the sound, the cinema. Oh my God, it's a rush. The editing, all of it. It was just it was just like this is the movie. Mm-hmm. Like if you if you like put a movie in a generator and made the perfect movie of like what a movie should be. Mission Impossible Fallout. Yeah. No, no, it's Top Gun Maverick, mm-hmm. which was inspired by Mission Impossible Fallout. Yeah, I mean, yeah, let's, yeah, let's be honest. I'm here. sure it's very Mission Impossible. Yeah. With like the the hint of Top Gun One. Like Did you guys in. see the stunt video of the new Mission Impossible? I avoided thing? it. I don't want to oh, see Christian, it. Come no, on, I, I, do I, it. I gotta, gotta do it, buddy. Save for the. Do you movie. know what the stunt is? I think I know, but I want to see you, it. Then you can watch the fucking. Nah. They didn't give anything away. Yeah. Oh come on! Gives away the the Scientology, oh, awesome. the, the the science behind Scientology. They're not no. I don't want to know Ooh. the secrets. Do you think the rise in Scientology commercials has anything to do with the the Top Gun Maverick just like making billions and billions I mean, of dollars? Sh- it's going somewhere. You, it's have going you guys somewhere. Seen the, the Scientology? Yeah, oh, they play, they played all throughout the NFL season. Yeah, I every Sunday like, I saw them. Yeah, like, mm-hmm. it's crazy. Yeah, How, like uh, whatever. <laughs> anyway, that's number uh four. We'll get to that. That's your four, yeah. Number three. I just watched this recently and I'm so fucking glad I did. The Sorry. Banshees of Inishirin. Yeah. Oh wow. Yes, yes sir. So fucking You good. liked it. Oh, that's this awesome. Does, this does seem like a Brian movie. I yeah. Think. So it's I, just weird enough fantastic. I think it's a perfect Brian movie. Yeah. It's the perfect in my mind, I was like, oh my god, ten out of ten movie mm-hmm. against number three. <laughs> but uh, <laughs> but for me. But I'm just like I can't. There's I can't find a fault in this movie. It's yeah. just it's it's just so well done, mm-hmm. so well yeah. directed, written, acted, mm-hmm. edited. It's 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 not like overly long of like a two and a half. Oh, dude, it's movie. yeah, yeah. It's fucking. Oh my god. Have, have you seen that director's other work? I know you liked Three Billboards a lot. I've um, only seen Three Billboards. You haven't oh. seen Seven Psychopaths no. or like or In Bruges. Bruges. Dude, no, oh, I buddy, hear In Bruges is out. fantastic. In Bru- it's both of them again too. It's but those two are like yeah. the fucking they're so good together. Yeah, and I read that they like like uh they signed Martin on for this Mc- movie. McDonald. Yeah, they signed on for this movie like mm-hmm. back when they were doing that movie. Yeah. That's like cool. they were just like fuck it, like mm-hmm. no like you have another movie, we're on board. Like mm-hmm. no no questions asked. Yeah, I think but, Colin Farrell <laughs> talks about this in one of the roundtables for Variety or, or Hollywood Reporter um about Mark McDonnell, McDonough, Martin, Martin, Martin McDonnell, Martin um, McDonough, McDonough, excuse me. Yeah. Um, and like getting him his shot in like in Bruges or something like that. Like Colin was like, uh, cause at that point he had done like a bunch of shit movies and he was like, you don't want me for this. And he was like, okay, no, yeah, you're going to be in this movie. And then yeah. in Bru- that was for in Bruges, I think. Yeah. Oh, yeah. His, his performance and Colin Farrell's performance, everyone's performance, Brandon Gleason, Barry Cog. Kogan? Key, yeah, I never yeah, figured Keegan out his Kogan. last name yet. Yeah. Terry Condon. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Oh, my God. Everyone's so good. Mm-hmm. And it's yeah. just like a simple story of just... Beautifully like sad. Oh. Beautifully sad yes. movie. Just, yeah. A yeah. friendship of just like, no, I don't want to be your friend anymore. And yeah. he's like, but you liked me yesterday. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Beautifully sad and a little bit haunting, too. There's some, yeah, there's there's some, there's some, banshees. There's some spookiness in there. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. No, I looked up like, what the fuck's a banshee? Yeah, it's like and a it's harbinger like, of death or some shit, right? Yeah. Well, like, uh, yeah, like uh, in that old lady in there. Mm-hmm. Yeah. In, in mm-hmm. Ireland, there the lore is like she would like let out a big scream to mm-hmm. foretold, foretold, yeah. foretell, uh, mm-hmm. yeah, a death or something. Mm-hmm. But yeah, no, it was fucking. Oh my god, it was so good. Nice. So good. I'm hell yeah. I enjoyed nice. the hell out of this movie. But number three. Uh, but number it was only though. number three. Yeah. Okay. Because I had. Perfect two other up. movies. Two, you okay. like two more. Two other movies. That What's I your more? Your number two. My lord. Our number two. I enjoyed the hell out of the menu. Mm. Oh right. Oh wow. I'm yeah. surprised. You did okay. like this one a lot. I yeah. thought this would be your number one. What would? Yeah, yeah it's it's number two. I, um, but I it was a, it was a, again like a surprise movie because I I we just saw it in the theater. I had no idea. I'm like oh let's see the menu. Mm. Like I didn't see like uh. I didn't see A-lister on La- Anya Taylor Joy on <laughs> Jimmy Fallon mm-hmm. uh, talking about the menu or anything about how the uh, she became the person and whatever all that mm-hmm. stuff. I was I just went to the movie mm-hmm. blindly. I'm like, well, I have no idea what this movie's about, and I had a hell of a time mm-hmm. just laughing hysterically. Yeah, of just the absurdity, absurdity of just oh my god, it was so fun. Yeah, and um, yeah, I watched it again on HBO Max when it came out on HBO Max. I'm just like, this is so fucking. 
tight and funny and so good. Mm-hmm. The writing is, I, I just love it. Nice little. I saw this movie based on your recommendation, bro. Yeah. It's the yeah, first like, and only time I saw you guys it in have theaters. I saw this movie based yeah. on your I recommendation. I didn't go that far. Yeah. But yeah, I, I eventually did see it, though. I did pretty much yeah. on Brian's recommendation. You no, know, Cody, I'm going to reveal what Cody texted me. Yeah. He's, he's like, uh, my wife didn't want to watch like a cannibal movie. <laughs> she really wanted to see it, but she was afraid that she would get sick because. Um, she thought it was about cannibals and stuff like that. So yeah, I texted Brian to make sure. I was like, is it about this? So I know, tell that. And then, Did yeah. she like it? Did she like the movie? Yeah, she liked it. Yeah. Okay. We both okay. liked it. That was one yeah. of our uh, our little date nights. We went and saw the movie. Uh, Am- yeah. So fun. Amber, she liked it, but she was like, I really don't like how she bit that burger. Because <laughs> she like, yeah, oh yeah, you, Anya Taylor does not eat. Burgers. I think I think she's a I think she's a vegan. Yeah. <laughs> she's like yeah, ninety does, pounds. Tom Cruise. Okay? A list no, A list stars. Yeah. yeah. Anya Taylor Joy has never touched a cheeseburger in her life, uh, but still, it's the, the burger looked amazing at the end. Yeah, um, and everyone's performance was great. John Leguizamo, the mm-hmm. Hung Chow from uh, the Whale, is great. Uh, Ray Fiennes, A-lister, is great. Oh, them out. Um, everyone was so funny. The the, the people that played the um, the the critic and like her lackey yeah. mm-hmm. where, he, yeah. where he's like oh this must be a whole bit for us like mm-hmm. can you yeah. believe it like this is oh my it was so good the yeah. writing was so smart one of the uh, I, I, uh-huh. oh no I, I looked up like the writers were like writers for the new yorker like they just wrote articles mm. like i think humorous articles for the new yorker so i'm like okay they get it like they get that like that dark humor yeah. style mm-hmm. it's one of the few movies that legit kept me kind of guessing until the end i was like is this really happening is this like they're going to pull a fast one on us and stuff and it well, they yeah. did like so really like great a, character reveals all throughout and stuff well so a movie like that you're like is it going to stick the landing like is it like it's so good has a great premise set up everything ray finds is fucking awesome in it where he's like everyone knows love is the most important <laughs> ingredient of like he delivers everything so deadpan yeah but I feel like it does. I feel like it does stick the landing and it's just like a good send off. It's also it's like, yeah, it's also a perfect movie to watch if you don't know anything about it. Yeah. too. Mm-hmm. Cause the, when the big reveal happens and you realize what the hell is going on, it, it throws you for a loop and it's a lot of fun to kind of play catch up a bit. Yeah. 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 Mm-hmm. Did you, did you, uh, do you guys have a hard time watching the Nicholas Holt part? <laughs> Where they tell him to, uh, Try cooking for himself. Oh yeah, yeah, that was stressful. Yeah. <laughs> at that point, that so at that sad. point, I was, was like, so "This sad. is this is no, this is what you deserve, you fucking asshole." <laughs> yeah, he, he deserved it. Yeah. But like to me, I'm like, that's every like film critic, film person on film reviewer on YouTube who's like, "I know how to, I know how the sausage is made. I yeah, know yeah. how, I know how movies are made." All right, it's like, "All right, we'll make a movie yourself." Or it's mm-hmm. like, all right, well, I, I don't know how to make a movie, mm-hmm. but, yeah. but like they can like spout out like everything that makes a movie good. Yeah, and yeah. It's just like ah, oh, I forget which ingredient it is, but he's just like a uh, 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 butter, and he's like butter. <laughs> we haven't thought about that. Oh wow, <laughs> something like that. It was some ingredient like that. It's like oh wow, what a brilliant idea. Where you, yeah, but again, Ray Fiennes is just like that's an yeah. interesting way to to dice uh, yeah. onions like that. We have <laughs> yeah. never learned of this. <laughs> 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 interesting strategy you're taking here. <laughs> it's so good. Oh, yeah. fuck. He's so I was also here. laughing a lot at Nicholas Holt's stuff before that, too. Like, when everything was going to shit, and he's just like, oh, this is good food. Like, <laughs> I, I like that running joke. <laughs> yes. It was just, it's a good movie, man. He's like, yeah. do you think he's mad at me? Like, yeah. Do you think yeah. I, like, messed, I, like, I just want him to like me. You know? yeah, he's, he's all pissed he's... off at Onion Taylor. He's like, you're acting like a child right now. <laughs> yeah. yeah. It's so good. Oh, my God. I, okay. that's, I'm that's surprised. I'm, yeah, I'm surprised. I have no idea. I'm Oh, I know it is number one. Yeah. yeah. I, I'll mm-hmm. think about it. I don't know. I don't I was surprised. I totally thought that would be your your number one. Okay, it was close. Okay. But then Banshees came in. I was like, "Fuck, do I like Banshees more than me?" Yeah, uh, yeah. yeah. Um, I'll put it at three. <laughs> yeah, I'll put it at three. <laughs> I'll do my my five through two. Uh, the Northman at number five. Ooh. Big fan of Mr. Eggers. Uh, this one delivered. Naked men fighting on a mountain. Anya Taylor Joy. Let's go, Anya Taylor Joy. Uh, yeah, she shows up twice here. Hell yeah. Look at, look at you. Eh? You know what? That's an A-list star. You're an A-list, A-list star to me. Mm-hmm. Um, yeah, uh, I, I dug the shit out of this movie. That's a, a Robert Eggers blockbuster movie, and it did not disappoint. Um, blockbuster in the sense he had, he had a bigger budget. A, compared, a bigger budget. Yeah. But it was yeah. still like a small movie in scope. Yeah, yeah. Like, like it's, it's not it's, like a huge epic. Like, there were... He took his time with like long shots of like yeah. through the village and it's, stuff. It's it's my favorite type of blockbuster. Oh, 
Naked men fighting. Hell yeah. Yes. It's my favorite type of blockbuster. The boring blockbuster. <laughs> the dunes of the world. The Blade Runner 2049s of the world. Give the me... expensive dramas is what you're talking yes. about. Yes. Yes. Yeah. So you're spending a shit ton uh, of money on some boring, gra- and I mean boring I in a very clean. <laughs> My favorite type of blockbuster, a boring blockbuster. <laughs> <laughs> Give me that. I'll take that. That's and I mean co- boring in a very, very good compliment. I, I, I mean character that. driven, character driven, slow take, build, slow build, you know. taking its time. It doesn't need yeah. an action scene every five seconds. Yeah. You know, like like. I would say even the ha- the first half of Avengers Endgame is a boring blockbuster, and then they just you know then they go nuts. You know you didn't like Blade Runner though, twenty forty nine. I liked it. Yeah. Oh, you didn't like the first one. That was just that was just boring. It's just boring. Harsh. Yeah, the second yeah. I like I like the second one. Yeah, yeah. I I, and no, I, I I don't I people get up in arms about the original Blade Runner. It's it's a fine movie, but I I prefer <laughs> yeah. the twenty forty nine over it. Yeah, it's yeah. just me. Um, Northman was great. Northman's really I, I good. Feel- yeah. Um. Number four, Nope. Mm-hmm. Get Nope at four. Nope is I was number wondering four. Wondering how high these movies Nope was good. You guys. Uh, th- I, there was like no other movie that I've seen. I think I've seen this movie at least four or five times now. That like every time I watch it, I just love it more and more and more. And uh, I just, I just, yeah, I think it's, I think it's fucking great. Um, I think he knocked it out of the park with it. And uh, um, yeah, I don't know. I think that one just, I think it deserves more viewings. Like I think people can. I mean, people are reactionary to every movies out there, um, and you know they want to dissect everything. But it's 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 a lot. I think it's a little bit smarter than like you know people you know, let on to believe or something like that. I don't know. I just I like the movie a lot. Nope, it's good. It was at my number eleven. That would almost crack oh. my top ten. Yeah. When I saw it with you guys, Christian mm-hmm. and Amber, Amber was, yeah, was that Am- was that Amber's second time? No, that was a good, different girl. Mm-hmm. Uh, <laughs> was, was that her second right, time watching? Book. Yeah, that was her second time watching it. Uh huh. And what did she think the second time watching it? I think she still liked it. Yeah. She liked it. Okay. And we get to the point where I start like, like, oh, you know, I picked up. She's just like, yeah, I just like the movie. <laughs> yeah, I get <laughs> oh, it. Oh, she's yeah. just like, yeah. yeah. She get, thumbs up, thumbs down. She yeah. doesn't like go into it. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah. <clears throat> but yeah, no, I, I enjoyed it. Um, yeah, nope's good. Um, cool. Number three, Pearl. I like nice. Pearl. Just a little bit more than X. Um, Strictly, I think, because of just the performance from Mia Goth. Like, she carries that. It's a very strong movie, but her performance is just everything in it. It is. And it's also just, I I love the style of the film. Um, I love what it's it's just kind of saying. And I love that it's a prequel, and it came out after the first movie. And uh, with, like, very loose connections, you know? like In the same year of the first movie. In the same year, year. yeah. It was like a backdoor prequel. I guess, or something like that. I don't mm. know how you would kind of describe it, but um, yeah, no, Pearl, Pearl, really good movie, fun stuff, very fun. You think movie. Brian would like it? Because I'm kind of torn. No. Mm, I, I feel I like I will say no. I, I, I cannot, it's different than X, though, man. I've yeah. already tell you, I will not like it. it, it you will appreciate her performance for sure. Will yeah, he no, or really great. find her character really annoying? Because I can see, it, I could see Brian saying that and being like, "What's wrong with this person?" Maybe, but like, come back to the it. point. Maybe, maybe give it a shot. It's short. It's not long. Okay, yeah. I can I can do that. Yeah, have you guys seen uh, Mia Goth made the rounds on the TikTok of like her real voice, her real life voice? Oh, because no, it's like super soft this. and like, no, no, she talk. They're like she. Someone said like she talks like, a, like someone from like a, a Christmas Carol. Like you know, I bought, I bought. Like <laughs> she has like that, like <laughs> like an over accent. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. Mm. Oh, no, I haven't, I haven't heard this. No. I saw her on the TikTok of the I'm a star. And my favorite one was uh, someone put their phone of that clip on their Christmas tree at the top. Mm-hmm. And, she, and it's just, I'm a star. Yeah. <laughs> I'm a star. Oh. Good. Uh, but yeah, pearl number three. Uh, number two, Banshees. Banshees in Inishirin. Wow. Yeah. Y'all yeah. love this one. This nice. is uh, this is just like a, a, I liked it. a boring, I liked sad one. story. <laughs> and I love yeah. it. Yeah. I don't, I don't think it's sad. Oh, it's it's sad. come on. Very it's, sad. It's incredibly sad. You didn't, the saddest part in the entire, it's not really a spoiler. It's a, after they're like, you know, break up or whatever. He just gets beaten up by this cop. His friend helps him up onto oh, his yeah. carriage and they start driving back home and his friend starts crying. He's not crying because he got his ass kicked. He's crying because he just wants to talk to his fucking friend. <laughs> it's so goddamn sad, but it's amazing. It's, it's, no, that's heartwarming. It's, right? it's, it's darkly funny. Like, it's, yeah. it's, it's, 
and endearing in a way, but yeah. it, the overall vibe is very sad. This donkey? Think, like, I mean, come on. The, the, yeah. Yeah. No, the, the, the pet part was, was sad. And I, I love the metaphor for like civil war of just like, what the fuck are we even like fighting for? Yeah. yeah. Like, I love that. Why can't we go really? back to just hating on the English or something? He says something like that, yeah. the bartender. Yeah. yeah. Or, or someone asked, or uh, Colin Farrell's sister was like, what, anything in the paper? He's like, no, there's just a civil war across the way. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, it's so I love it. it's at the so, towards the end when he's talking to him and he's just like, "Oh, now I don't feel so bad about telling your friend that uh, that his father might have been killed. I think I'll be fine. <laughs> I'll meet you at the bar." <laughs> <It's> so good. <laughs> oh, <laughs> so so yeah, good. The, he's like, "You're you. What is it? Your dad got hit by a, a bread truck." He's like, "Oh, that's how my mom went." <laughs> he's like, "That's impossible because <laughs> my mom did." I swear to God, if it's the same thing, I'll kill him. <laughs> Oh man, so that is a a yeah. subtitle ass movie. Yeah, I need the captions on because those oh, accents yeah. are so. I, I, did you watch it with captions? Yeah, yeah. yeah. It, it, I it, did. I didn't. Oh, I, so I, thick. I, I went in raw dog. Okay. Yeah, you did. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, I, I was like, I'm fucking watching this movie. Yeah, I want to. I don't want to spoil it, but part of me was like, did this certain thing actually happen, or I don't know. I don't know if maybe I'm just reading into it too much. What the fire? Did it? Did yeah. Yeah, I know yeah. the, the fire, but like, no, I he... know what happened. What you're implying? But okay, I, I, I think it did. Okay, yeah. Okay, yeah. I just like how they say "fucking." <laughs> yes, <laughs> I was wondering that too. Is like, Fickin'. I know they actually do say "fuck" eventually, but like, uh, if they just did "feck" the whole time, could they have like gotten away with that for a PG-13 rating? Because it's not actually. I don't know. No. Yeah. Mm. It's just the Pick absurdity up. of yeah. the fingers thing, just continuing. Oh, on. It's, it's it's just the stubbornness. It's great. Yeah. The stubborn and like yeah. for no reason. Again, like the Civil War. I, I don't know much about the Irish Civil War, but like I think it's like it's a, still yeah. a thing. Yeah, it's, yeah. Um, it's still, the, yeah the like um, like, when I was there, like we they took us up to Northern Ireland, and like they were they like warned us, and they're like, look, the tensions are are still very real. I think they're in the recent years. There's been some some conflict up there too, but. Yes. Um, yeah, there's there's still, still tension there. Yeah, yeah. and uh, so maybe that's like Martin McDonough's way of just like, what the fuck are we even fighting yeah. for? Like yeah. this guy pretends he's like, <laughs> the beginning where Brendan Gleeson's like, if I didn't talk to you, I could I could be playing music. I could yeah. like, I could be writing a song. <laughs> you yeah. just like he played like thirty seconds of a song. He's like, I wrote that yesterday, <laughs> just because I didn't I didn't talk to you. Imagine what I what I could have done. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, and I love that. Like the worst thing you could ever say to somebody. Yeah. Like, I've wasted all my time with you. Oh my Just god, talking to you. <laughs> oh god. Imagine what I could have done with my life if I didn't waste my time talking to you. And he's like, "You're too nice." Uh, and, then, and then he's just like, "Am I?" He's like literally thinking, "Like, am I too nice?" <laughs> Like, no, fuck that. Yeah, I, 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 am I just nice. I love that we got a movie about this. You know what yeah. I mean? Like with movies about aliens and all these uh, these crazy concepts and just about. I not wanted to talk to his friend anymore. Yeah. I think it's, it's just so cool. For being and it, too nice. It's good. And yeah. even when he's like trying to be mean, he's still nice. He's like, I'm going to burn your house. I bet just make sure your dog sit, sits outside. He doesn't, yeah, he doesn't like, deserve <laughs> that. <laughs> with, yeah. with you, with or without you in it. Yeah. Make yeah. sure your dog's, dog's outside. Yeah. She, she don't <laughs> deserve this. Uh, so yeah, Banshee's my number two. Fantastic. But even movie. when he told the guy about his dad, like with the bread truck, I'm like, this guy's lying. Like, like he totally yeah. like he doesn't even believe that he's saying it. Yeah. Like it was just very awkward for him to just even <laughs> lie about it. Yeah. But that yeah, was great. Great movie. Yeah. Uh Cody, you're five through two. Number five, boys. I can like blockbusters too. Okay, guys. And this movie has its flaws. But in terms of just mood and vibes, the Batman is coming in number five. Oh yeah. God. Fuck. I wow. forgot. I fucking out. love this thing. Yeah. Wow. I will rewatch portions of it. <laughs> I've watched it all the way through multiple times. Yeah. I've seen it twice all the way through. Three hours. I think I like long movie. I think I like the first like half and then oh, like yeah. the ending. Yeah. I just there, there's there's too much about this movie that I love to where I can I can forgive some of the stuff that doesn't hit as well. Mm-hmm. But it is um it's it's a damn near perfect hey, representation I, of Batman, dude. It is I, awesome. I would classify this as a boring blockbuster. I think so? I think so. Yeah. yeah. Character study. Character yeah. Maybe. Yeah. It's Maybe. not like a whole lot of crazy action. It's just a... Until the end. Yeah. And then just Batman just talking the whole time. Thumbnail. Say, yeah. This is totally Cody's version of Batman. It's, it's e- emo Batman. Tony, it's damn near perfect. A, a representation you. of Batman. Yeah, for you. For every, but for the world. Okay. <laughs> this is an A-list Batman right here. Okay. This is a very specific emo. You're not my yes. father, Batman. 
<laughs> You're my Get father, Alfred. Get out of my room, yeah. Alfred. Yeah. You notice like all of Alfred's Perfect. scenes are the same. Like he just comes down the elevator and he enters the room. That's all his scenes up until he. Like they only in. had him in one location. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. He just comes down the elevator, comes in. So I solved yeah. this puzzle for you. No, it's Andy Serkis. Sure, I solved this puzzle, puzzle for, you. for you. Yeah. Um. Anyway, number four. What's a rat with wings? <laughs> what is a rat with wings? I love that. No, I'm not your father. I just love Colin no, again. Colin Farrell. What a year. Uh, it's just like, yeah. what are you stupid? Did you, am I the only one that know no Spanish around uh, here? What am I looking at here? Oh, what am I? Oh, God. yeah. Oh, what are awesome. you? He's like, what are you showing me? Come on, oh, what is it? Oh, oh. <laughs> great. It's good stuff. Looking forward to that show with him too. They did a oh yeah, show yeah, with that's him. gonna be great. Oh, yeah, be fun. Number four. Bodies, bodies, bodies. Yeah, guys. Brian, this don't, movie. Don't see it, Brian. No. I, 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 no, you got to Brian, see more things. You got to see more than twelve movies. Okay, you got to <laughs> get out there. Not what you guys like. What, very, with you, a, guys, with you guys th- like very specific movies. I, what do you I, mean? I, that are not for me. We like specific movies, Brian. Yes. What are you talking Maybe about? Maybe you I'm like not, specific bodies, movies. Body is not on everyone's top 10 list. It's, it's a pretty well received movie. Yeah, it's I'd okay. I, I, it almost made it. I thought this movie was hilarious. Yeah. Okay. I thought it was a, a great example of Gen Z making fun of itself, which a lot more people need to do. And I think it was uh, just some of the most fun I've had in a the theater this year. My wife and I went and saw it. We both laughed our asses off. It was a very enjoyable time. Loved bodies, bodies, bodies. Yeah. Number four. Oh, fun right. movie. Number four. Uh, on to number three. This movie is called On the Count of Three. Okay. See what I did there? It's number three. Oh. Directed by Gerard Carmichael and starring <laughs> Gerard Carmichael, okay. Brian's favorite Golden Globes host. C-lister, yeah. Hey, 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 hey now. He is not do that. A-list. He's not. Or B-list. This movie's great, though. All okay. right, guys. It's a very dark movie. You got to be in the mood for it. Okay. Um, very depressing at times, but it's also beautifully depressing, if that makes sense. I don't know. You got to be in the That's it, your cup of tea. Beautifully yeah, boring. It's This and the Batman is a good double feature, basically. Okay. It's a very emo, <laughs> depressing the de- movie. But the divorce like, scene from Ted Lasso. Watch that. Yeah, that as well. That's, that's, that's the intermission clip that plays before. Um, if you're in the mood for this movie, you got to be, I don't know. It, it's it's a tough pitch because it's about very dark subject matter. But if you're down to like laugh at the sad things in life, then check this one out. But it's uh, okay. I'll give you a warning before you go into watch. What's but it I loved about? it. You can't. You don't want to say what it. I can say it. no. It's it's about two friends who are both suicidal and oh, great time. want to oh. have one last day together before they both agree to kill each other or kill each other, kill, each other, kill themselves. themselves. I think you talked about this before on the yeah, show, right? Okay, that's where I remember. It. Yeah, it's a bit of trigger warning there for like suicide and depression and all that stuff. But it is. If you're okay watching that, it's very good, and I would recommend. Okay. All right. So that's on number three. three. On the count of three. Okay. My number two little movie, guys, on my wonderful streaming service, my favorite streaming service, Apple, Apple TV, TV Plus. Uh oh, Spirited. No. Oh, you watched Emancipated? I did not. Mm. Heard it's okay though. Mm. Is it not good? Hey, okay. My... Anyway. Number two <laughs> is a movie called Cha Cha Real Smooth, guys. This was the JB Sundance, Smith? the Sundance darling of 2022. Mm. Then it was acquired by Apple, and then nobody talked about it again. I don't think it kind of came and went. Um, you talked I, about it, though. This movie stuck with me. I, I was, I found myself getting really emotional watching it for many different reasons. Dakota Johnson. Yeah, it's it's Ooh, very like very good, guys. I like her. Um, and this director, this writer, I think his name's Cooper Rafe or something. Cooper Rafe. Um, he's like twenty four, I think, and he's directed like two or three movies. Oh, what very an, what an asshole! Dude. Fuck that guy. Yeah. <laughs> this fucking dick. This fucking no. prodigy. Uh, no, this guy's going places, and he. This is a a very very good movie, guys. And, okay. Um, Cha cha, real yeah. smooth. Loved it a lot for a lot of reasons. And, okay. Uh, yeah. Number two. All right, I like it. I like it. I like it. I like it. Uh, Brian, let's do it. Let's wrap number it up. One. Number one. We're, we're throwing up number one. I think this movie's probably been mentioned already, uh, but Everything Everywhere All at Once. Oh, yeah. Nice. This is my top movie of the year. I saw it twice in the theater. Had a great time watching it. Uh, like you like you guys, you dopes with your nopes, watching it over again, yeah. uh, seeing other things that's surprising that's a very long movie too everything it was, it was a bit long to um it. but the second time i watched it it flew by for me yeah i like, thought it paced very well yeah because i think it just like throws everything literally like the kitchen sink like yeah. everything well that's yeah that's the thing the it's it's a long movie but everything still works 
Yeah. Yeah. So I wouldn't know like what to remove or cut. Yeah. Yeah. But I just loved the absurdity, um, the existentialism, just all of it of just the the just themes of generational trauma and all that stuff. I just thought it was fucking great. Yeah. Just great Hearing performances, all that. With like all of the like round table, the interviews and stuff and just seeing the Daniels like talk about it. Um, I think they did a video with like Ryan Johnson where they were having a conversation yeah. about their movies. And I, watched that one. I think they were like, yeah, we just made an anime movie live action. <laughs> and yeah. I was like, oh, that's a cool yeah. way of like looking at it. That's really cool. Yeah. Where they're like, we, yeah, they said something of like, yeah, we didn't know what the hell we were doing, yeah. but it just like hit. Mm -hmm. And Ryan Johnson's like, oh, you're making movies with your heart as opposed to like trying to do something that's in the now. Yeah. Like you just kind of, yeah. And yeah, no, it was great. Nice. I just loved there's all a, of it. There's another great video of the Daniels uh, reading uh, letterbox reviews on YouTube. Look that mm. up. It's hilarious. <laughs> um, but yeah. All right. Hell yeah. I, I love that style of humor of like the absurdity of just kind of nonsense, but like not nonsense in a way. Mm -hmm. Like at one point they blur out a guy for being pantsless and <laughs> jumping on a dildo. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah. Like, why is that in a movie? Is it a, was it a dildo or what? I thought it was like it's a set. It's just funnier a, if it's a censored. It works A butt out. plug, a butt plug. Yeah. Oh, it was a butt plug. Okay. I was, I, and, for some reason, I think it, I thought it was like a, a statue or something. Like a, like a, I don't know. A, a, it was, a, yeah, award. it was the statue well, from was, the trophy from, or the, yeah, it was yeah, a trophy. Jamie, it was Jamie played Lee, as a, yeah. Okay. Jamie Lee Curtis's like IRS, like employee of the month or whatever. <laughs> award, is a butt yeah. plug. Yeah. And also, Technically, another movie that takes place kind of in one location. It's in that yeah. IRS building the entire goddamn time. Yeah, yeah. I didn't, I didn't think about that till after. I'm like, I mean, it's they, it's all, it's very travel. They go all around. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So. but the different styles when they get into like the uh, like when she's a uh, an opera singer or mm -hmm. pianist or something. I don't know. Rekkui and uh, yeah, <laughs> they, they do it all, and it's just so funny and so so yeah. good. Like. Just original. Like, I would say, like, I would appreciate the menu or the Banshees being, like, getting, like, best original screenplay. <clears throat> but, like, how do you even write everything everywhere all at I once? Know. Like, how do you That's... describe it yeah. in, like, Wild, man. any sense <clears throat> of the word of just, mm -hmm. like, well, here's the screenplay uh, and here's the movie that we're going to make. And how do you even begin to start all that? I like that so, um, um, that uh, conversation they have with Ryan Johnson because... I think Ryan Johnson asked them, "Is like, how did you guys write this?" And they're like, "We don't know. We don't know how to write. Like, we just do yeah. it. Like, it's just like, like we don't we, even like writing. Yeah, <laughs> we yeah. just like figure it out. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah that's great. Uh, nah, that was uh, my favorite movie of the year. Everything nice, everywhere. Buddy. All righty. Okay, Christian. I don't know if I know yours. I don't think, think you do. I saw this after our like and during our break. Never talked Ooh. about it on here. I hope it's not the movie. I hope oh, I think I'm gonna know it. What do you guys think? I, I, you want me to guess it? Brian, I want to hear Brian first. I hope it's not Glass Onion. No. Uh, okay. I liked it, but no. It, was that not mentioned at all in your list? No. Mm -mm. Oh, interesting. Yeah. Oh, my the mighty have fallen. Co no. <laughs> right. Cody? You think, you, think, you think that we hold this person in high regard? Um, you, that was like number three. Like Knives Out was like number three on your list. Or I like Knives whatever. Out more. I don't remember where I that, that was. was my top I like Knives Out a lot. Yeah. Um, Mighty have is, fallen. I'm gonna guess. Is it the Fablemans? No. Uh -uh. Ah! No. The I'm, I'm, been I'm going. I don't want to say obscure, but I don't know anybody else that's, that has also seen this movie. Okay, so uh, that's where I was originally going. Because normally it's like a like you've done Possessor as your number one before. Yeah. So I was expecting like Crimes of the Future, but you already mentioned that one. Crimes yeah, I liked it, but this one just like was a perfect combination of. A genre that I love and a genre that I'm I don't care too much about. It's a I Animation. guess it's a, a horror romance. Nobody. I don't know this movie. My favorite movie of the year was Bones and All. Tari, Holy Tari, shit. Timmy Shells, Luca Guada, 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 Guadagnino, uh oh. Cannibals in Love, Going Across the Country, Mark Rylance, just a beautiful, beautiful movie. Uh, the gore handed handled tastefully, if you will. Oh, um, just a good one. Just a wonderful, wonderful film. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. Big okay. fan. Big, big Bones fan. And all. I think it helped too yeah. because uh, Amber really wanted to rewatch Suspiria, uh, his remake, and really? she wanted to rewatch. She just want. She loves that movie. And I haven't uh, seen it, but it's Guadagnino. Guadagnino made 
made Suspiria? Yeah, he did that after Call Me By Your Name. Ah. Yeah, and now he did has Did you like this Call one. Me By Your Name? I did. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I don't remember. In ju- I thought it was fine. I don't know. I, don't I just didn't. Yeah. I liked it. No, I, I think it. I've seen a single movie from this guy. Oh, okay. Oh. It, it's a... It's, Gotta check him out. But I hear Bones and All is good. It's I mean, very good. Yeah. It's it's. I think it's kind of long, too, but... Um, some great appearance. David Gordon Green is randomly in the film too with uh Michael Stuhlberg. Like he pops up as well. Michael Stuhlberg's great. Um and yeah, David, it's like David the director, David Gordon Green. Yeah, it's so is random. He actor? He just he just, I don't know if he's an actor, but he acts in this film. Huh. Super, super random. Uh Mark Rylance is 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 so great. Timothy Chalamet, and I forget the lead. I forget what her name is, but she's she's fantastic as well. But they do a, a really cool thing with because it's about cannibals, like this. The lead girl, she's she's a cannibal, and she's kind of dealing with this. And the way they sort of like flesh out—I don't want to say like the lore of like cannibals, but it's it's more than just like they like eating humans. Like it's almost like a sense, like a sense in them that like like drives it out of them a little bit. It's an addiction. It's, it's like yeah for for addiction. Mm-hmm. And um and like they can sense other cannibals and stuff. It's just it's really really cool. And at the heart mm. of it is this is this uh romantic tale between these two people as they go across the country, you know, running from things and going towards things. And it's, it's Uh, just, it's really, really great. Yeah. So check it out. Bones and all, all. check it out. I think I rented it on, on, on the voodoos. Um, Taylor, Taylor Russell, by the way, it was the, was the lead. What a never guess. Christian bones and all bones Bones and all all. the romance cannibal movie. All right. Mm. Side note. Have you, did you guys see Babylon? No. No. Okay. Cause uh, speaking of director, Spike Jones has a oh, scene in it. Everybody's in it. Okay. It's, he's great in it. Okay. When is he going to direct another damn movie? That's what I want to know. Since Her, right. right? Is that the last one? It's been 10 years since Her. He's done documentaries and stuff. Well, he's doing Jackass Forever, no? He's not directing it, though. I want to narrative. The opening scene. Doesn't count. Oh, right. I want a, I want <laughs> Second a unit. full narrative film. All right. Yeah. No, he, he was great as, uh, as his bit part in Babylon. Okay. okay. Uh, right. Yeah, no, I wouldn't even recognize David Gordon Green. Like, I he was also in uh, the Nicolas Cage unbearable weight of massive talent. I'm surprised David that Gordon didn't make his list. I never saw remember. it. Yeah, it's I fun. never did see it. Oh. Uh, he plays himself. David Gordon Green does in that movie. Oh. As well. I'm surprised Fablemans didn't make Christian's list because Christian had like glowing reviews of that movie. I, I know he said he liked it and then it's I was like, like I haven't heard him talk about it yet that much. I'm like yeah. it's got to be number 1. Then. No, it's 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 a very good movie. I just like the Cannibal Romance movie more than the Steven sure. Spielberg tale. That that makes more sense. That yeah. tracks. That fits more yeah. your vibe. Yeah. yeah, that's true. Yeah. Guys. Cody number Cody 1. Number oh, what is guys, your fucking number 1? So much has been said about this movie. I have nothing original to contribute to this conversation, but I cannot deny the fact that everything, everywhere, all oh, at once yeah. is just one of the most entertaining movies I have mm-hmm. ever seen. Not mm-hmm. just for the batshit crazy stuff that we've talked about. I'm talking about the emotions of it all, man. I felt so many things during this movie. And it was just a wonderfully crazy, beautiful time in the theater. And I think it's it's one of my favorite movies in recent memory. Yeah. Everything, everywhere, all at once. Best movie of 2022, folks. There it That's is. It. According to Cody. According to Cody. Did you guys, did you guys see the? Uh, they released the audition tape of Stephanie Sue? I did see that. Oh, yeah. really? She yeah. was great. Yeah. And you're like, holy shit, just give her the fucking role right now. Yeah. And and they, like, um, when she was doing the thing where, like, uh, she puts her hands in uh, Michelle Yeoh's hands. And then um, even in the audition room, the director's like, why don't you sing that line? And she sings it. And I think that made it in the movie. Oh, that's like, cool. Yeah. I don't recall. Yeah, maybe. Mm. Like, into a bagel. Mm. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I, I think... I'm pretty sure they made it in the movie. Okay. But yeah, nice. no, it's fucking great. Like just like so innovative and creative and just nonsense, but like not. It was so Beautiful great. nonsense that movie is. Yeah, Beautifully yeah. constructed nonsense. Not like uh, hot dog fingers. Like why? Yeah. <laughs> the rocks. It, it yeah. works just shots and makes you feel things. There's like just shots yeah, of rocks the rock with, scene. Yeah, yeah, you're right. That is just. Like it, it shouldn't work. It's silly, but it does. Yeah. There are so many reasons why it shouldn't. And it absolutely does. And yeah. it's uh, a beautiful work of art, I think. I think I mentioned That's this me. when I first saw it on our show. Um, the shot when Jamie Lee Curtis is like drop kicking Michelle Yeoh. Yeah. Like she's just like in slow motion, like jumping down, 
the flight of stairs, the yeah. flight of stairs to yeah. dropkick Michelle. Yo. Yeah. I'm just, I started like bawling. I was like, this is what movies should be. Right. <laughs> just Jamie. At least Curtis. the effort of it all. We don't all need all movies to have that particular scene, no, 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 but the but, fact that they decided to do it, they put yeah. that much work into something as absurd as that, I think should be applauded and more people should put this yeah. much effort mm-hmm. in their and, stuff. And yeah. Jamie Lee Curtis is on board because Jamie Lee Curtis yeah. is, pretty much a side character Fucking awesome in it. Yeah. Yeah. she's just like fuck it yes i will drop kick michelle yeah. <laughs> if the I'm story all... calls for it i'll do it <laughs> do it I'm, I'm gonna put the wires on and i'm just gonna fuck it like it's so oh my god i was like this is a movie and, and it's great yeah, yeah, yeah. it's awesome man. well there we go folks there's our top 10 of the year why don't you comment down below what was your top 10 favorite movies of the year what was your favorite movie of the year let us know down below in the comments tweet at us uh, do all the things we want to hear your thoughts and opinions. Um, as we sort of wrap it up here, we'll do the uh, the good old sound bites and uh, some shout out names. Um, mm-hmm. I did reach out to the Discord for some questions. We didn't get that many, but um, <laughs> do a couple rapid fire, just real quick. I did. It was very last minute too. So yeah. uh, Arcadio says, asks, uh, tell us your obligatory L.A. Rain anecdotes from the past weeks. I think we kind of we. I just kind of stood out there and not didn't talk to uh, the other parents at the school. That was, that was kind of my adventure. You have an umbrella? Yeah. We did. I yeah. will say it is not fun taking uh, the dog out while it's raining. To yeah. pee. It's not fun. Yeah. Um, other times it's, it's so much fun. But and not much, not much happened. I just, I just love like staying inside and just seeing it just like pour yeah. down. Yeah. That was so great. I think I was. It was raining and. I think this is when the last of us. I, I was playing Last of Us Part Two while it was raining or some shit like that. And oh, it was it's like, perfect. It's a nice yeah. vibe. Nice vibe. Brian, did you watch the Last of Us? No. Yeah, All right, I didn't on. think so. Uh, Bobby Mitchell asks, uh, "What do you think of the new Fallout Boy song? Did you listen to it?" I did. Um, step in the right direction. I, yeah. I've really fallen off Fallout Boy the last couple albums. Um, I just it's they went too much in a pop direction for mm-hmm. me. Mm-hmm. But uh, this seems like they're getting back slowly, and so I'm on board. I'll check out the rest of the album. Okay. Yeah. Uh yeah, I listened to the first minute. I was like, cool, and I just kind of stopped. I never really, yeah, man. Uh, Alec Ms. Young, what musical artist that you love has changed the most, and do you prefer their newer or older sound? Big one for me is Arctic Monkeys. Ooh. Um, to give you guys an example, all right, let me pull up oh, he's got what they one. originally he's sounded like seen. on their first album. Okay, let me pull this up here. So. An example of what they sound like. This is their first album. Okay. A lot of qu- quicker mm-hmm. stuff like that. Yeah. Good guitars, drums, mm-hmm. and all that stuff. And then recently, they're kind of going for this. Kind of what Oja by okay. is what they're kind of going for. Okay. Don't know if I'm all on board with that. Um, but that's kind of the biggest difference between a band where they were and where they are now that I currently listen to. Okay. I've had many debates with uh, Mr. Al about that band. Okay. No, Blink's been, they've strayed off without like forgetting what their the roots. core sound is. Yeah. And I don't mean to say like bands should continue to make the same stuff. You should make what you're inspired to make and grow and change and do all you got to do. It yeah, just that... doesn't work for everybody all the time. Oh, That's sh- my take. Oh, no, I didn't. Yeah. Um, yeah, that was, I think that was like kind of a follow up that he had of like, you know, if they are doing the same kind of thing, do you, does it still excite you when they do kind of the same old thing and, and whatnot? Because yeah, Parkway Drive comes to mind because yeah. they they're still like a metal band, but they've gotten a lot more rock over the years. It's like it's always interesting when bands that you know they scream a lot or they like don't ever sing and they incorporate they start incorporating singing. Like there's a band called White Chapel. They're like one of the heaviest bands ever. Yeah. And in more recent albums, the lead singer who does all these fucking girdle girdle like 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 dark screams and gurgling gurgling yeah uh okay. girl i forget what if i had to fucking say it but um and he has like a beautiful singing voice and it's amazing and they, <laughs> and they fucking make it work and so when i saw that i saw them a couple months ago and it was like heavy song singing song heavy song sings song and it just it works it's just awesome and i'm okay. i i think as i get older i'm totally cool with bands like changing it up you know yeah. like we have the albums to listen to in their youth when they're angry and, and fast paced and all this stuff. And now they're, they're a lot older. They don't want to keep doing the same shit over and over, you know, but Lincoln you know. park was another good example of a band that changed, changed over time. A little too far for some people, but I like that every album kind of feels different. 
yeah. for a band like that. And uh, yeah. I think Metallica is kind of like, now nah, we're just going to kind of keep doing the same thing. I it's mean, kind of similar. It's good. Their it's last a- album, they changed it up a little bit um, in, in a nice way. Not saying anger was like uh, maybe too much of a departure, mm. but yeah. yeah. Slipknot is the biggest change for me over time. Like listening to them in like middle school and high yeah. school to now. I mean, they um, they still do bring it. They still do yeah. have like the heaviness and stuff. But their last album was my favorite. But they they mm. they tried some stuff. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I can appreciate the the change over time. Yeah. I want to hear like "fuck the world." Yeah, like when you're like fifty years old. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> and you're a millionaire now. Yeah. Um. Yeah. Ar- one more. Uh, Arcadio asks, uh, when you think of perfect uh, for video games, what comes to mind? Perfect for video, like perfect video game. Mm-hmm. Uh, Spider-Man PS4. Oh, it's the most recent one I can probably think of. Uh, I'll say Bioshock. Game's pretty, pretty goddamn perfect. Mentioned Bioshock. Yeah. It's like holy shit, that is perfect. Uh, Gears of War for me, <sighs> the first one. Yeah, yeah. Was fun. Was fun. Tony Hawk's Pro Skater Four. Oh, the fourth one. I think four is my favorite. Uh, oh, Super Under- Mario Underground. Super Mario World. Uh, for Super Nintendo. I just okay. I have the. The you know those like Super Nintendos in the box and it has like twenty games or whatever. I just oh. recently played all of the Super Mario World. It's great. Madden 04. That's mine, mm. guys. The Madden good Charlotte with uh, were they on that one? Is one of my favorite. I don't this remember. Blink One Eighty Two was on there. Feeling this mm. was on there, but um, yeah, Madden 04 was was another one. Yeah. Okay. All right. Uh, I'm sure I can think of more, but yeah. Oh, perfect. Pokemon Red and Blue. Pokemon Red and Blue. Uh, mm. Oh no! Wait a minute. There's some. It's it's That's good, but I, I would I would go with the remakes or you talking about like Fire Red or something like that. Yeah, or mm. Fire Red's pretty goddamn perfect. Um, yeah. Or even Gold and Silver even are pretty damn still rough. Like yeah, Golden Eye. No, Gold and Silver I think are Golden Eye better than Red and Blue. Yeah. Golden Eye is perfect. Yeah. Seven, yeah. Golden Eye is perfect. Guitar Hero Two, yeah, <laughs> specifically. So Ooh, fun. yeah. Is that yeah, Firebird? Right. Two is, that is Firebird? the good one. Two, Freebird, yeah, yeah. yeah. Freebird. Freebird. Freebird, excuse me. Yeah. Yeah. I'm thinking of Firebird Base. <sighs> Guitar Hero Three was through the fire and flames. Yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. That yeah. sounds like what's the fucking point of this shit? I can't play yeah. that fucking song. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Guitar Hero Two is awesome. Yeah. All right, let's uh, let's wrap this up. Cody, you got some sound bites? Sure. All right. We'll see how the delay is here, but I'm gonna run Ooh. through them. All right. Aaron Woodley. By the way, hit the like button, subscribe, do all those things, please. <laughs> Alec Ms. Young. Oh, look at the fucking wallet on this guy. Look at the fucking That's money on this guy. Alexis Lopez. Live your best life, man. Go out there, just swing some dick once in a while. <laughs> Bailey Storley. And hey, we know you love us, and we kind of don't love you. It's not very nice. Uh, Arcadio right. Castellanos. Absolutely, yeah, I have a three way with those guys. Yeah, definitely do it. Definitely do a three way. <laughs> Hell yeah, get it, brother. <laughs> Bobby Mitchell. I watched a guy snort cocaine during Boys Like Girls. <laughs> Brandon Lindsay. Maui Wowie. Brian Arsenal. And I felt bad that you weren't able to come, Brian D. Oh, uh, yeah. Oh, he, uh, 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 oh my God. Yeah. Oh. Hi. Uh, Hi. Yeah. Uh, Brian King. Hey, girl, let me whisper in your ear. <laughs> Brian Garcia. That's not the lyrics. Either. Put the whole thing in your mouth. No, I don't want to put it. Put it all in your mouth. I don't really feel like doing it you right just, now. Maybe you later. Brought I got to get, 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 get warmed up. No one it, you brought know. it up. Open wide. No one was thinking how much you're can saying I, I asked for it. You, you asked, asked, for you asked, asked for it. I think you put this in my mouth. I just asked if you guys had. I was trying to have a conversation about putting things in our mouth. It's like you saying you want to do something by putting it on us. I was feeling it, and I was like, it's been a while since I've had this in my mouth, and I was wondering if you guys had recently done it. Chris Jones. I doubt so, you would see the team, but Sydney Perez. I don't Perez. know what you were saying there. Oh. I don't know what that was. I remember they were handing out like uh, <laughs> you can go to bed. <laughs> <laughs> Claire Stefan. Hey Twitter world, this is hey. yours truly. OJ. It's been doing? weeks and he still finds a way to sneak yeah. in there. That what are you son doing, of a OJ? bitch. Cody Watson. Ah! Arlena Marie Ten. I had a, a tweet that I liked that I thought was funny that the Exorcist sequel is just going to be Ellen Burst- Bernstein with a shotgun shooting Bazuzu. Because mm-hmm. that's just the Halloween thing. I, I laughed at it. I thought it was funny. <laughs> Emmanuel Fuentes. Fuck the coffee. Get spooky. <laughs> FS1138. Uh, I called me. Sorry. James Lavario. I called me. 
Uh, let's go with... Without me? <laughs> so sad. <laughs> Jason Ar- Harvey. George? <laughs> John Noto. Hands on my knees, shaking ass on my thought shit. Uh, Carl Soderberg. Look at this dick. Cad Berger. Mm. Professor Rhino, I'm glad you enjoyed the show. Thank you so much. Thanks yeah. for doing, thanks for, all those rhinos, they need the education. They do. They really do. They so do, and we appreciate thank you, you. For, for professoring them. Yes. Is that a word? No, yeah. I don't think so. Nah, teaching. <laughs> uh, <laughs> teach. Kyle Johnson. Uh, it's just and I'm just going to shill and just buy it. Fuck it. Why not? Who cares? Yeah. Life sucks anyways. We're all going to die soon. Michael Bittner. Obviously. Yeah. Yeah, have, yeah. have you heard of Depth of Field? Uh, Nick Reeves. I'm a whore. Yeah. I'm a filthy little whore. I deserve to be punished. Nick Wade. Hell yeah, I'm getting buck nasty, bro. Pete Rich. Get right into it. It's algorithm, bro. We got to get yeah. into it. Got to get into it. Got to get into yeah. it. All right, Cody. Let me see that ass. <laughs> Ramon Cock. Should we get into it? I yeah, kind of. I'm, yeah. I'm. I'm excited. I want to hear Brian's. I want to hear Brian. I want to see. I want to see what Brian saw this year. <laughs> this Topical. Year. Sure Real snack attacks. Yeah. Did you play the HD remaster? <laughs> Sergio uh, Sangley. Excuse me. I saw you on the ESPN. Sergio Castaneda. So many different Spider Man in the Spider Verses, but not a Mexican one. Yeah, what's up with that, Cody? <laughs> Senior Phil. Women are important, Cody. <laughs> Terry, we're in the Cody's now. Terry Stockwell. <laughs> oh! TJ Jones. It's not a requirement. It's a fun man. Tyler Eklund. Ooh, like he's got a tight ass. And finally, Wiley Todd. Don't expect full happiness all the time. Just little spurts of happiness here and there. Because if you get a little bit here and there, I think that's that'll get that's enough. No, okay. W- words of wisdom, sir. There it is, everybody. That's beautiful. Uh, thank you all so much for watching this episode. Wang Show, it's back. 301. Hope you enjoyed Woo. it. Hit the like button. Leave a comment down below. Um, yeah, uh, show might be different, uh, over the next couple of weeks slash month, you know? Yeah. Uh, Cody is going to be kind of busy. Uh, yeah. I'll, um, I'll be out for a bit guys. Yeah. Um, Ooh. when I can, I'll be here. Just, yeah. just know that. Okay. Yeah. And so, it's be okay. um, still I'm, love you. I'm in the process of figuring out, uh, if, if we get like a, a, a temp co-host in the meantime, I'll just try to book a bunch of guests and then just go from there. Brian, Ooh. whenever you want to hop on more than welcome, all that jazz. Ooh. So, yeah, cool. we'll figure it out. But we're here, baby. Three hundred one. Sometimes they'll you guys. they'll mostly be live, but sometimes there might be a couple pre-recorded. We'll see. We'll just see how it goes. But show's here. So I was playing my own worst enemy by Lit on the guitar, and Grant was singing along, but he doesn't know the words, so he just was going. Yeah, that's better. Here we go. You recorded? Just beautiful. <laughs> Just beautiful. I meant to sound like that, but I didn't do it. Oh. Oh. Yeah. Terrible. Terrible. Yeah. Sure. All right, everybody. Uh, thank you all. Appreciate you. Hit the like button. Leave a comment. Subscribe to the channel. Check out the Patreon. Do all those things. Commentaries. We're working on those very soon. New year, new us. We're going to get some out there for you. So yeah. see you all. Hold on. Next get there. Get there. Hit that button. Hit that button. Hit the button. <laughs> Have it very low. Oh, I should have ended on. Are you ready? Are you ready? Damn it. Still hearing that buzz th- or that fuzz? Yeah, it's, just, yeah, it's, it's not think, a buzz; it's I, a fuzz. I'd I think say, it's just for you guys. Yeah, I think it's okay. just. You should, you should be fine. Okay. Want to uh, see your comment on next week's episode? Leave one down below. That's from the episode 300. A lot of good. Uh, uh, a lot of great comments, so thank you for all those. And uh, hey, check out other videos. Check out our short film, Elves on the Shelves, right there. Boom. If you want to see bloopers and extra behind the scenes? Check out the Patreon. A bunch of bonus stuff for you. To check out over there. Good stuff. Check out uh, the Last of Us review. Subscribe to the channel. Join the Patreon. Do all those things. Thank you all. Uh, bye bye. Are you ready?